In what year will we see 10 gigahertz, you think? Um, question from Zero One Shizzy. That's a good question. I probably it will take a while until we get there. Why it depend on the architecture? Like uh, IBM had the one. Like uh, IBM had a, a CPU running at 10 gigahertz, but it's not something you can use. It's, it was a, like a different CPU they were, they were having uh, in one of the lab. Yeah, I know, I know that Intel is focusing a lot on that. And the efficiency and on the clocks itself. So I think they will stay around maybe four gigahertz in the future, but they will try to improve the um, the efficiency because the, the focus is not mainly on the um, on the enthusiast market. The focus is more on the mobile market. And uh, to be successful on laptops, you need a very very efficient chip. So yeah, because you, you need to understand that the the frequency doesn't do everything. You can go higher on frequency to get more, but the memory, the CPU manufacturers have been uh, doing the efficiency tweaking. So that's basically for the same frequencies, you are having better performances out of that. Yeah, we can see your comments, guys. Um, there was. Um, the, somebody asked, I cannot see the question anymore, but somebody said if there's nobody uh, using the uh, protection for liquid nitrogen. Yeah, we don't. For a reason. Because if you, if you use gloves, uh, they can soak up the LN2 and then yeah, you're screwed. Because if you, if you, if you get the... Um, uh, the main issue is to have the LN2 going on your clothes. And yeah. then that, your clothes get so cold that it's going to stuck to your skin and that's where you get burned. So actually that's quite funny because it's safer to use LN2 while yeah. being bare naked than, <laughs> than wearing socks or... You can actually you can see my hand, guys. So so that's uh, it's it's actually safe if you pour it on your hand like that. No, it's not safe. It's it's well, it's, <laughs> it's not safe. It's, it's less dangerous. <laughs> it's less dangerous. Yeah, I, I would not recommend to do it. <laughs> but I'm just showing that it's not going to freeze your arm like in a movie. Yeah, that's, that's actually true. <laughs> that's going on my pants. <laughs> Frozen balls. No, it's not dry ice. It's liquid nitrogen. A little bit more cold. A little bit colder. A little bit colder? Yeah, like uh, 120 degrees colder. <laughs> No, it will not freeze your hand if you dip it in there. You should not leave it in there, but... Uh, no, actually, you should not hold it. So if, if it's going uh, straight on your, on your hand and just going away, that's called the Leiden Frost effect. So that's basically when a, a liquid evaporates and there's, two, there's a huge difference between the liquid temperature and the material temperature that can be your hand or whatever. And that creates a thin layer of gas in between that makes the, 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 the LN2 going away. But don't get us wrong, don't try this at home, this is dangerous. You need to know how to do it, you need yeah. to know how to handle that. I mean, uh, last week, actually, one of the top overclockers, uh, Vince, he burned himself, he burned his foot with the LN2 yeah, and, pretty bad, yeah. and pretty badly. So you need to be very careful when you use that. And I, I just want to point out that it's not liquid oxygen because somebody wrote like NO2. And it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not liquid oxygen, it's liquid nitrogen. There's a big difference. And it's LN2. Liquid N2. Yep. Just to be safe. Because actually if it was liquid oxygen, that would explode at the first... Uh, yeah, that a little spark and yeah. we're done. <laughs> and we're done. The one on the left sounds like David Gessler. That should be you. Wow. Le, le must be your French accent. Yes, it can be my French accent. Uh, and as David Guetta is a French guy, uh, this is might be uh, this might be very possible that I sound like uh, like a weird DJ guy that know only to touch on his piano. Merde. Uh, merde. <laughs> um, 
Liquid helium is too expensive to use it here. So the question was from Magixman, where is the liquid helium? Uh, it's way too expensive, way too expensive to use. And actually it makes no sense for us because we have, we need to control the temperature to around like minus 120 degrees, stuff like this. Yeah. Uh, there was a question whether you can drink it. If you, no. if, you, if you swallow that stuff, you're going to die. So seriously guys, don't ever do that. Never, never ever. That's the most stupidest thing you could do. You could also jump from a bridge if you want to drink that stuff. So it's going to be the same. You might have saw some videos of the guys putting LN2 in their mouth and then and going that's that away. That's not away. swallowing. That's not swallowing. That's, that's not swallowing. That's, that's a huge difference. Actually, if you want, um, if you want to know, like one liter of LN2 of liquid phase, like you, you, you fill a bottle of uh, water of one liter of LN2. And if you let evaporate, that, that will take the space of 273 liters of air. So uh, that's why you should never ever put LN2 in a closed box or a closed bottle. It's going to explode. And we won't demo that here. There was a question from Lollet's Lunchbox whether we have better access to bin CPUs than normal people. No, we don't. Usually yeah. we're just buying a shitload of uh, CPUs from the store. Like I, I bought 30, uh, 30 4770Ks last year. And I resold them, making a big loss. So it's just about spending a lot of money on the stuff. So, yeah. so for the people that don't know what binning is, binning is the way to uh, test a lot of CPUs to find the best one that can overclock as much, uh, the best actually. Safety first, safety first. <laughs> yes, I assume like David Guetta. <laughs> So the guy is entering on the, with the nickname Overclocking TV is actually Xiala, our uh, my teammate from Overclocking TV, and is uh, uh, managing the uh, the last few details and answering you guys and making fun of us at the same time. He's just making fun of the German quality. <laughs> Actually, there was a, a question earlier that can you cool down your sodas with the Yellen 2? Uh, the answer is yes, you can. Yes, we can. But the main issue is if you have um, a gasified drink and you <laughs> you lower its temperature so fast, it's just gonna explode also. So you need to be careful with that. But actually, I can I can get a little of coke and put Yellen 2 on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. There was a question where we get the LN2. Well, you can basically buy it um, at gas suppliers like Linde or Elikit or um, any other big gas supplier. It's going to cost between usually between 1 euro to uh, 4 euro per liter. We can do a one liter LN2 giveaway, but it's gonna be gone when you reach it. Um, grabs it. It's lighter. It's lighter. No, it's heavier. But if you can open it, then maybe you can pass that as well. Actually, we did a um, we did a test if you can play on those systems and actually you can we we managed to um, game on a GTX 780 which was running at 1900 uh, megahertz also cool by LN2 and yeah it actually worked we could play Crisis 3 so it's, it's working it, it just cannot play for a long time that's the issue Yeah, yeah. Ian, they are laughing that you're touching your dick on the live stream. <laughs> it's not as big. They're only jealous of size. <laughs> size does matter, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> At some point, it does. You use your uh, <laughs> zero. <laughs> no cut is bad. You can handle it, you see. You've got to just adjust it. Give it a good Rack it. Break it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as overclocking TV just released on the live chat the link to an interview with the pro overclockers from Argentina. That guy is Nacho Arroyo, it's the best overclockers in Argent in Argentina. And that was the last week at during Computex on the Zotac booth.
So let's be clear, guys. We are not we are not drinking LN2. It's very dangerous to drink LN2. We are just using that to cool down the drink. It just make a nice cocktail. But don't ever try that at home. <laughs> the French guy looks like Remy Chilard. Remy Gaillard. No, actually never. I don't think he has such big nose as mine. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> actually, I'm sure it's a bad thing. <laughs> I used to do some stupid crappy stuff. That's the PSU that the guys yeah. were using uh, oh, for, that, for this yeah. weekend. That's the Kudo Master V 1200 watts. That's like quite big. It's quite heavy too. So that's the what the guys were using among some of the uh, NMAX. Yeah. So there's a lot of ice inside now. I'm trying to not yeah. pour that on my laptop. <laughs> I don't have any the you can also ask us about Space Invaders or something. It doesn't mean that we are answering on the question. <laughs> There's a remark from Long... Long August. Long August. Long August. Long August. Long August. Oh, yeah, and I'm not the German one. <laughs> Long August. Uh, fuck, I, I lose the question. Oh, they are optimi optimizing a machine to run Microsoft Word 97. Uh, yes, sure. <laughs> sure, why not? Seven hundred simultaneously, even even now later at night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that guy is Ronaldo. Is from Brazil. Is the well, best of a clicker from Brazil. Ooh. Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you overclocking right now? I mean, you were overclocking earlier no, today. My, my mother body is not working properly. Yeah, so you're drying everything. Yeah. And okay. okay. The video cards and the CPU is very good, but the motherboard is. So so. <laughs> so I will change. You were, you were on the live. Actually, you were uh, there on the on the screen. So I will change you. I'm sending my hands to Brazil for a you. I don't know where that comes Very nice event. Over Clapper TV, had our boot together. Yeah, that's so partnership. <laughs> that's true, man. So we're taking. Don't forget, we are t taking the question from the um, from the live Twitch web uh, web chat. So what's a good graphic card for 200, 300 dollars these days? Seven sixty. I'm not buying mid. Yeah, the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. We 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 just buy the iron one. Is there a way to overclock RAM? I know you can change the frequency, but is there a limit? Yeah. It's like a CPU, it's exactly the same thing. You just raise your multiplier and you will hit a, a wall at a certain point when, when your chips are not capable of more. So what you can do is raise this, the, the voltage a little bit and, and play around with the, with the multipliers. You can also try to lower or increase the, um, the timings. But it, it really depends on your memory kit and on the, on the ICs you have on the, on the sticks. But er everything that are on the computer can be overclocked basically, uh, except the uh, drive. Yeah, actually, you can also overclock SSDs. Yeah. Um, let's say hi to OC Little Boy, our friend from uh, yeah. hey Korea. Man. 
we hope you had, that you had a good trip flight uh, back home. Actually, OC Little Boy is uh, one of the top overclockers in uh, South Korea. Yeah. And they were with us last, uh, just last week. We were, we were having, uh, they were the Galaxy uh, making some overclocking shows. Yeah. Thoughts on AMD processors? It just depends on what you're aiming for. Um, you, if, you know I like to overclock that shit, so... <laughs> Overclocking AMD can be fun. Um, the issue is that they are not that efficient. The high-end ones, the FX8, uh, 8350 for example, they're using a lot of uh, current, so you have a lot of uh, temperature you have to cool. Just wait. They are currently refilling an LN2 DR, that was the noise sound. Um, there was another question. OC Little Boy asks us, 8-Pack and James, do they really... F are they ready for... Sorry, are they ready for benching fire strike? Uh, they did this morning and they're actually, I think they're doing that right now. Opinions on A10 7850K overclocks from Magic's Man. Yeah. Um, that CPU is kind of a, um, a low entrance CPU if you don't want to use a. Uh, a GPU, then you can use the, uh, the internal uh, graphics unit and on that CPU it's actually more important to have a, a very fast memory kit and to overclock the iGPU because um, the CPU part is not limiting. If you're not aiming for a, for a APU, if you don't want to use the internal GPU, you should actually not go for the CPU itself. You should rather buy an Intel CPU. Long August, so AMD processors run hotter than Intel. Yeah. Uh, yes. They're simply not yeah, that efficient um, at the moment. It's easy as that. Seems we have guys from Mexico also watching us. Arturo Jane TV. Actually, we know there's a lot of people from Brazil. To the band Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I understood what the hell they are doing. That's, that's the comment of the day. You guys want the internet. Right? So, Francis Kovic, what are we doing today? Well, we are doing overclocking and it's called, here now and today, it's called extreme overclocking. So, extreme overclocking is, is a way to cool down your computers as much as you can, to overclock your computer as much as you can. And what is overclocking is uh, increasing the frequencies of, the, of, the, of your systems to get better performances out of that. So, basically, we buy hardware, and we push it to the maximum. So if you buy the top the top iron hardware and you push that, you're basically having a computer that you have the performances you cannot buy in the market. Indeed. Uh, there was a question from uh, Particle Fusion. Have you had any serious accidents with coolant? Um, so far not, luckily. Um, you just have to be careful and usually you don't have problems. Oh, we have a very famous guest in the back. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the cat from the Gigabyte press conference. <laughs> I always get nightmares about that. <laughs> Anytime I see a cat now, freaked out. <laughs> I'll borrow it. Um, to follow up on the on particle fusion question, have you had any serious accident with coolant? Uh, for myself, I just burned one of my finger once, but it's not such a big deal. But last last week, it's it's just painful. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, it's liquid nitrogen. The, the 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 issue is last week with liquid nitrogen, one of the top overclockers were was benching like quite hard, and he actually burned uh, his foot. I actually want to see what that looks like now. No, if you went to the hospital after that. It's going to look very aesthetic. Yeah. 
You're gonna wear that sleepers that much anymore. <laughs> um, there's a question from. How do you spell that? RC Math? Whatever. Azimat? I don't know. Um, he just asked whether you can get anything by overclocking your PC. Yes, you can. For example, if you um, bought uh, Intel i7 2600K a few years ago, um, you can still use the CPU nowadays and even beat very high end CPUs at the moment if you overclock it. So you can just save a lot of money if you buy a, um, a good CPU which you can overclock. You can use it several years later just by overclocking and you will achieve the same performance. Sing SE Ing 519. I had so many more issues with overheating and artifacting than any NVIDIA card. That was where you were using the AMD one. Uh, well, that's actually that actually depends on some hardware. I mean, I know that AMD cards run quite hot, but the NVIDIA ones are quite hot too. Like the 780 Ti on air cooling. Crazy 1092, what CPU are they using? So above here, I guess it's the Intel Pentium Anniversary Edition and right there, there, and right there, it's the 4720K, yeah. is already listed. Um, I think it's going to sell on the 14th, so it's about one week. So we had feedback that the sound from the venue is a bit too big, so let's arrange that. Recording devices. There, there, there. Should be better by now. Chipsets are depending on the, on the CPU you're using. So mainly C87, C97 for for Intel Haswell and um, X79. If you need to use for graphics card, you need IBBG. That was a question from last word. And it, the coolant is liquid nitrogen. Uh, question from HD Skills Pro: What's the frame thrower used for? Uh, actually, that's torch lamp, and there <laughs> so we're using very very cold liquid nitrogen, like minus almost minus 200 degrees, and they are using the torch lamp to heat up when it's too cold. Because yes, when it's too cold, the computer is not working anymore. That's a question for Hobby Time. Have you ever thought of using more ex exotic cooling solutions such as helium? Uh, the thing is that helium is just way too expensive. You, you pay like 20 or 30 times the amount than L2 and you need a lot more. And actually the issue of helium is that it's um, going to evaporate into the atmosphere so you're not able to get the helium back. Yep. So yeah, you should actually not use helium. It's, 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 and the, the, main issue, the main advantage of helium is you go lower in temperature but that doesn't make any sense for most of the CPU we are using because we cannot go below like 100, uh, 120 degrees, minus 120 degrees. Uh, there's the guy's SC Ying Sing, I don't know, 519, saying that you should wear safety glasses. Um, you should maybe Google for the light and frost effect. That's an effect that's saying if you have two mediums which, are, which have a very high temperature difference, um, they will build up a gas layer between the mediums and you're not going to have any um, temperature transfer between the two mediums. So basically you don't need 
Um, That's the, for the gloves. You don't need gloves, but it's the same for your eye. If you get a little uh, uh, trip in your eye, you're not going to die from that. People think that whenever you, you touch a little bit of liquid nitrogen, you're straight dead. That's not true. You should but be careful, you but, should be careful. but, but it, it's not going to kill you. It will kill you slowly. Yeah, stop. I am probably okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're probably looking for quite a bit. Fire in the hole! <laughs> there was... That, how do you pronounce his nickname? Frenskovic? Yeah. Frenskovic. He asked whether when we manage top overclockers, if that uh, requires some skill or whether it's just completely knowledge-based. Um, it's a mix of both. You have to have skill, like soldering skills. You have to know um, uh, a lot of electrical um, background. You have to know how to, how uh, a power uh, circuit works on a, on a graphics card if you want to remove it and replace it with a power board, for example. And, of course, you have to have the knowledge um, with overclocking itself. What, uh, then you need to know what settings you need to change yeah, and so exactly. on. And it's, uh, so, actually, yeah. that's something you, you cannot learn like this. You need to learn by trying a lot of things. You can read a lot, but you always need to try by yourself. Question from Crazy1092. Do you think the Anniversary Pentium Edition will be as good as an i3 if you overclock it? And what frequency do you think you will be able to still achieve on aftermarket cooler? <laughs> Um, that's a good question because the first time we did test that CPU was last week at the Intel OC event, the Unleashed OC event. Um, it will not be as close and as good as the i3, but will be like quite okay to, to use as like a, a media center or used in the, in the server. Uh, on after my, on liquid nitrogen, most of the most of the people were at 5.5 gigahertz. I know that some people reach higher than that. 6.8 is the maximum, yeah. I think, now. I think, I think we, we have to wait for retail CPU yeah. because we test the engineering samples and from our experience, engineering samples um, differ hard from um, from retail ones and not not always in a good way. So it could be that the retail CPUs are much better than the engineering samples. So we should actually wait for like two more weeks. Yeah, it's not practical to use Allen 2, that's correct, but we do it for fun, it's our hobby. Um, it's like doing a one, mi a one mile or a quarter mile race, something like that. Uh, you can tune your car and use it for a quarter mile, but not on the street, it's exactly the same. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just a hobby and we are having fun. So guys that just joined were here at the HWBOT anniversary okay. overclocking event. Uh, this event has been organized by HWBOT along with the partners the, from Cooler Master, GSK, Gigabyte, NRMAX and Jedit Solutions. Um, there is also some media coverage by Ardor Asylum and Techmundo from Brazil as well as us from Overclocking TV right here. Uh, we are taking all the questions and answering you guys on the Twitch chat. Uh, we will take a few breaks now, uh, send you back to some of the views of the guys uh, that are benching. And we are, we are actually recording some videos here also, an interview with the, with the overclockers. We'll be back in about five minutes. And if you have any questions beside that time, don't forget to ask them on the live Twitch chat on the side here or... And don't forget to subscribe to our channel right there. I mean, on the other side. There. Anyway, so see you guys in a bit.
Frequency. Good of some kind. Yeah. <laughs>
didn't have the cars on the control then because I can't see anything. Like. Right now? Yeah. Right. He went a lot further then, did he? Yeah. Carl, if you see one that I, I can't yeah. see. Shout one. out to one, three, one. I see range hood. <laughs> First and second. Third and third. Uh, third and fourth. Why is this happening? Third and fourth. Don't do first. Let's go. Wow. Wow. OC range hood, Roman. That'll be your next product. What? OC range hood. I'm going to do something. And we are back. So don't forget, guys, we are here at the HWBOT OC anniversary in Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, the guys you can see on the left of the screen are overclocking a 4770K CPU Intel Core i7, as well as a four way SLI of 780 Ti graphic cards. Uh, this setup is one of the most powerful setups you can have to date to overclock. So here by my side is Roman from Germany. Okay, so we were having some questions earlier today. Let's see what are these questions. So what are we doing here? So as you can see, there's people doing weird stuff with a uh, lot of smoke, torch gun, stuff like this. Uh, these guys here are overclocking, and overclocking is the way to increase the uh, working frequencies of your computer or computer hardware that can be your CPU, your graphic cards, your memory, and to get uh, to reach higher performances. So um, all of this uh, is used in a benchmark. So instead of playing a game uh, for a few minutes or a few hours to validate that, we use to run benchmarks. And the benchmark are a piece of software that do calculate the, the few different things that could happen during a game. So, <coughs> do you burn a lot of hardware? Well, if you're doing it right, you don't burn anything. You can insulate against uh, condensation water and then actually you're safe. Of course, it can always um, happen that some GPU or CPU is fading, but it's actually pretty rare. Average core temperature on LN2 is probably minus 
connection with run at stop? Run at stop, yeah. Well, that was the question. Do we break hardware sometimes? Well, sometimes. Shits happen. <laughs> Let's not go deeper into this. Yeah. What is the lowest temperature so CPU? Much noise. So warm, much noise. Okay, so we are. Um, what is the lowest temperature CPU or GPU get before it stops working? Uh, question from Death Flakes. <laughs> well, actually, it depends. Well, some CPUs are able to run at minus 200. Like the. Uh, some GPUs as well. Yeah. But there are also GPUs which stop working at minus 20. And CPUs which stop working at plus 5. So. <laughs> it depends a lot on the hardware. You always have to. That's why you, you always have to test and make sure uh, where is this. Uh, what's the name when that is not working because it's too cold? Actually, we, we don't kill hardware on purpose. So, few other questions on live chat. How much do you run this setup in home with hired help and all? Uh, you, you you cannot use that for gaming anyway, so that makes no sense. You just run the benchmark, you can just learn that and and go. Uh, question from Magnetocat, what CPU they clock? Uh, above here, I think it's the uh, Intel Pentium Anniversary Edition from Intel. That will be on the shop in the next um, six or seven days now, June 14th. Uh, and on the side of our videos is the 8-pack and Young Pro. They're using a 4770K CPU at over 6 GHz, as well as a 4-way XLI of a GTX, GeForce GTX 780 Ti. Um, there was a question whether we have to buy anything or everything is provided for free. Actually, we have to buy like 80% of the stuff we use. I think that's... An Maybe also ninety percent. Yeah, I, depends, I, I would say more ninety percent. Depends a lot on uh, if you if you are sponsored or if yeah. you work for a shop, stuff like this. But mostly all the hardware that the guys are using are their own hardware. Uh, so to, today we have yeah. some uh, partners, the Cooler Master and the NMX, for providing some PSUs because we cannot travel with the PSUs. Yeah, but seriously, if you have to buy four GTX seven eighty Ti, yeah, and the, get a like PSU the card were not provided. Like that was actually bought. Yeah, drop of water on the hot stone doesn't really help. Yeah. But mostly, like all the hardware is, uh, is bought by uh, by the overclockers themselves. That's actually an expensive hobby when you do it at this level. Yeah. Yeah. People always think we get everything for free, but actually, that's that's no. so wrong. That's so wrong. We just we are just willing to spend more on, on on the hobby than on other things. Yeah. For example, I have a very shitty car, but I have very good hardware. So and you're German, and the and German, German with the very shitty car is not something you can see quite yeah. often. What is the average core temperature on LN2 G at Jeep? Uh, depends on the temperature you're running at. But usually there's like a few few degrees difference between the core itself and the and the measure measure the temperature you have. We're not going for the highest clock speed. The highest clock speed is it's actually not really interesting. It's more interesting what are you what you're able to run at. So we are more uh, looking for certain records like on Firestrike Extreme or, yeah, for example, SuperPi, but um, the, the, the frequency itself is not really that interesting for us. Because we're looking for the performance, like having more performance out of the hardware, not just raw numbers. So that's why we use Benchmark, and Benchmark are the one you, you just go for, for that. Uh, there was a question, uh, what is the white things use as what seems heat sinks on the graphics card is that uh, plastic question from pain is pain is that's a good that's, a that's good actually why the nickname is like this because when you write when yeah. you read the name is good good nickname man good nickname um Actually, th those are the, the the coolers we're using actually that's the stuff I'm producing myself you can go on wait I can I can type my I will just do some advertising. 
that's the page where you can where you can find uh, uh, the LN2 cooling gear and uh, the cooling um, solutions they're using the pots. We're calling them pots or container. I got exactly what this is. What you guys think it's? it's I just did some advertising for myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the graphic cards uh, that you can see on the side, and we removed the the original cooler to put this stuff on top. You can maybe show the internals. The what? Internals, the structure. Yeah. That yours? Yeah. So this is like a piece of copper and uh, aluminium. <laughs> yeah, you can also go to keep in cooling. Oh, it's not it's not metal. It's made out of copper and aluminium. Ma copper is a metal. Hmm? Copper is a kind of metal. Yeah. Dumbass. What you're meaning is steel. Yeah, steel. I'm French, so it's not yeah, the French guy kind of differ between uh, metal and copper. <laughs> Uh, there was a question. Uh, what do we use to insulate the uh, mainboard? Um, personally, I, I use uh, a liquid tape from Plasti Dip. That's um, something you, you can. It's like um, it's li liquid insulation tape. It's, it will just protect your your board from uh, electrical short uh, shortcuts. So, yeah. and maybe put some towels on top. <laughs> yes, I am French and I could take my French accent like this, but uh, I think that uh, not so many people will like it. So I will stick to the uh, not so shitty one. Question from Best Flex What temperatures can Freon? get these CPUs too. Well, it depends on the system you have them because you cannot use that directly like we use liquid nitrogen. You need to have that in a closed system, um, like, like an AC system, like air conditioning systems. But usually it's like minus 40 degrees, stuff like this. There, there's always like a typical question if somebody puts up his rig and asks for uh, the overclocking. Nobody will ever be able to tell you um, how, how well you can overclock your CPU? They they're different. They're different from sample to sample. So yeah, it depends a lot on the way they were produced, and there's no exact science for that. You know that okay, like if you reach at 3.4 gigahertz, you can reach like 4 gigahertz with it, but there's no way you can know exactly where you can reach on uh, on each uh, CPUs. So that's why I would say if you want to know, just try. I don't know what liquid hydrogen is. LH2? <laughs> I don't even know if that exists. No, that's liquid he helium. LH? Yeah, LH. What the hell is hydrogen? So let's find out. Liquid hydrogen. Probably doesn't even exist. Is it water? or? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's H H. Mm. No, L H two. What is liquid hydrogen? So it's just liquid helium. Melting point is liquid helium. Yeah, it's liquid helium. Okay. No. No. The hell. One common method of obtaining liquid nitrogen involves the compressor resembling of a jet engine in both appearance and principles. Like, whoo, shit. Uh, yeah. Question from IT Tweaks: What are the star the target speeds? Uh, there is no special target speed. You just want to be as fast as you can. 
So you're al always pushing to the last megahertz. So there's always a few questions about why we use liquid nitrogen and not liquid helium or some other stuff. Liquid nitrogen is cheap. It's, it's cheap. cheap and safe because and safe. nitrogen does not react with anything. Yeah. So it's a uh, neutral gas. So. Yeah, and and the, the main issue is uh, liquid helium just go lower in temperature, but there's no need for that because actually we want to stay around like minus 120 degrees. We don't want to go lower than that. There is no competition, so the winner gets nothing. It's just for fun. It has actually, yeah, just for fun, just to go up in the ranking and prove that uh, this is actually quite fun to do. Are you having fun to do that? A lot. I mean, you spend most of your spare time on that, right? Yeah. <laughs> So there was a question asked in French from Stringle Zero. If I understand correctly, you are working on the cooling system to overclocked. How many of you guys need to be there to control the systems? Well, it depends a lot. I mean, uh, if you can see just above here, uh, Massman is doing the system by, by himself. Uh, he's alone, he can manage that. And if you can see on the side, there are two, actually three guys uh, to manage the systems. But it's, it's not the same. Uh, kind of uh, of hardware like here above us you just have a CPU and on the side you have uh, one CPU and four graphic cards so that's a bit more to to manage and control at the same time how long have you two been commentating together 10 minutes 15 30 minutes 30 minutes I don't know <laughs> Christians are getting better and better. I like that. My favorite nickname b uh, so far is, by the way, them titties. I love some titties. Yeah. Some titties. <laughs> That's the best thing so far. What happens if liquid nitrogen gets on your skin? Well, if you pour a little bit on your skin, it's not going to, to do anything. But if you keep it on your skin, you're going to have a problem. Give me the dewar. Let me. Alright, let's let's show you that it's not going to hurt you. You should not keep it on your skin. So you have to to make sure that it's like going away from your skin. You have to go away. You should, you should never have that. Uh, you should never hold like some kind of liquid or dip your hand in the liquid. That is very dangerous. <laughs> so you see, I didn't die. Yet. Not yet. <laughs> but the main issue with liquid nitrogen is if this is going to your clothes and then that's going to stuck to your skin and then you, get, you, you will get burned. Burned by cold. Not going to drink it. If you drink it, you well, why? Why would you do that? Or why would you hang your pinot in there? <laughs> <laughs> um, that doesn't make sense question. whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, it's just retarded, right? Um, there's one question from Stringle Zero again. Where can we buy these systems? Uh, well, you can buy the um, the LN2 at any LN2 suppliers. If you want to have the containers that they use. Uh, that we show on the graphic cards or on the CPU. You can buy that from these guys, actually. He made them in, in Germany. The darebauer.com, D-E-R-8-A-U-E-R.com, as well as keepingcoding.com for some of the other stuff. Yeah. You have your phone number on that? Yeah, you, uh, can, you guys can call me. It's right over you're there. You're gonna get so much. <laughs> you're gonna get so much of like weird call after that. Man. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so let's get some new question. Can you beat farm stuff like Dogecoin? Much wool? So well? <laughs> Much coins? Much coins, so well? Uh, yeah, actually, you could, but that makes no sense because it's uh, you have to, to control always the condensation. You cannot run this system with liquid nitrogen for 24-7 uh, system. There's, there's no way to do that. You always need to take care of the condensation. You always need to control the temperature and stuff like this. So that would make actually no sense at all. Yeah, I'm waiting for the phone calls. No problem. Face pants. Question from Frank Kish. What is the best motherboard manufacturers? The best are Asus, Asrock, Gigabyte, MSI. Simply as that. Yeah. That there's, there's no like perfect perfect manufacturer. Nope. You just have to... It depends on what, what you're benching, what you're using, so... There, there's no one brand or one model to say, oh, this one's the best and just get it and that's fine. No, it's... Mm. What's the blowtorch for? Actually, it's a torch lamp, Tiffany Uh the, 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 the torch you see are to eat up the, the CPU or GPU cooler because when they are too cold, the system crash. We call that the cold bug. So there is like a, a minimum temperature the system can run with. And actually, the, the minimum temperatures you don't know until you eat that wall. Uh, so that's why when it's too cold, you need to no, eat up again. <laughs> Fat boy not so slim asked whether I can uh, tell them to use the OC brace. They're actually using an Asus motherboard, so I, I think they will not do that. <laughs> and apart from that, um, I think it wouldn't fit either because they're using uh, three slim pots and one fat pot, so the, the last card is hanging a bit off. I'm not sure if you can see that on the video, so uh, actually the OC brace wouldn't fit. Either. No, no, it wouldn't. Do you even bench, bro? Yeah. Shouting Rock says, how much do you guys bench? Well, 30 kilos. <laughs> about, about 350. 350? <laughs> Just bro, just bro, just just bro, yeah. do. <coughs> Mainboard gone in three, two, one. Huh? <laughs> French guy. Da. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Stringle Zero were asking another question because he actually asked the question in French and I'm French so I can understand that. But um, last question, do you guys are engineers or stuff like this? Where, where's the question? Uh, here. Are you guys engineer or stuff like this? Otherwise, it's quite interesting. Well, we are not engineers. I mean, I'm a computing science guy, but I don't do that for my job. Actually, uh, I'm close to be an engineer because I'm on the last semester of my um, uh, of my microengineering studies. So yeah, I will be an engineer in like half a year. <laughs> we actually, actually, I'm tri driving a Volkswagen Polo, which costs one thousand dollars. So I'm driving a really shitty car. So actually, your computer costs more than your just, just your car. Just proving a point that I'm not spending any money on my car, but on my computer. Oh, there was a question from G Priceless. G Priceless, why is the guys in the black, the bower, sniffing the stuff out of the container like it's a drug? Where was that? <laughs> this here. It's not drug, it's just, uh, <laughs> just Actually, an into it's, vapor. It, look, it just looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, actually, there's uh, some um, good, interesting question. Uh, don't forget to, you know, keep on going with that. Uh, question from K KZMugger87. Doesn't the expansion and contraction from extreme cold 
hot and cold damage the inside of that in some way. So we're talking about the uh, the cooling system we use. Well, it's a big chunk of copper, so yeah. that that doesn't you know uh, destroy anything really. So tell us about your personal PCs and what you have done to them. Actually, my personal 24/7 rig is really, really bad. Actually, are you, I'm using a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know that I'm I'm not a gamer, so I don't care. I just need like a some random PC. Usually, I use what I have left from from benching and just put it together. Yeah. I don't care. Sure, I use my laptop 24/7. I have uh, another rig that is like a X79 with. Uh, I can't even remember which CPU is on that. I go figures, but it's mainly for doing video editing than uh, not really gaming that much. <laughs> Face puns ask, uh, do you have any overclocking or over stories? Not really. Nothing, in nothing interesting to be honest. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> What the hell, dude? Oh, it's like uh, the French thing. Uh, les chaussettes de l'archi du sèche sont elles serges? Ah. Too much. Nobody wants to les hear that. Yeah. Actually, the, the, the Polish one, the, the, that kind of sentence in Polish is, is even worse than that. It's like shmush, 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 shmush. If you were trapped on a desert island and could only take two things, what would you take? Flashlight and a knife. <laughs> Probably the latest Playboy or Hustler magazine. <laughs> uh, there are a few questions like about what kind of hardware should I use or should I buy. But that depends a lot on what you uh, what you're gonna do. If if it's for gaming, you need like. A good VGAs, like you can you can get a 4670K for that, uh, 760 graphic cards, GTX 760. You need to get a SSD because actually that's one of the biggest bottlenecks so far. Question from Frankish: Is can, it can, worth? Can you check whether he posted something before? Yeah, yeah. To fix. Fine. No, that that was like uh, building a new computer. That's the one I just answered. Oh, right, right, right. um, that was a question from Frankish. Is it worth spending money on a good quality power supply if you have iron motherboard? Well, you need a power supply Where that can. I, I just I like it. Oh no, it's then uh, it's gone. Is it worth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You should actually not buy a crappy PSU. Because that could uh, actually burn your computer if something goes wrong. Yeah, people underestimate how much power uh, a GPU can take on load. Actually, even even if you have a uh, two eight pin connectors and one six pin, and you're gonna say like, I don't know, it must be like 300 watts, 400 something like that. Um, 450. Uh, people just calculate by the amount of ca connectors, but uh, the real load could be even higher. So you should not you should not um, save on the on the wrong point. Oh, we had like a video video challenge. Who is the best at the game? Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, fuck that. Ready? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. You lost. All right. French guy lost. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, German one. Okay. Ah, okay. Planet 86. Truth, man, if you were trapped on an island, would you rather be stuck with Empire or Massman? Definitely Massman. <laughs> No, uh, it's fun. Truth man, if you're... Uh, uh. 
Like 80% oh, there, there was a comment following the PSU like talk we just had. Gia Jeep, always check the OEM for the PSU. Brands are not that meaningful. Actually, it's not that true because the the OEM in in the in the back are there's only three factors making PSU in the world. But most of them, uh, let's say you buy a Corsair PSU or Seasonic PSU or whatever the PSU is, you need to have. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to have um, need to make sure because all these computer brand have um, I'm gonna say that like a quality control for, for what they sell so if you buy like a Corsair PSU or Cooler Master PSU or NMAX PSUs usually they are like if you, are, if you buy like a 850 watts PSU it's good enough to, to sustain the systems can scroll down can you scroll down <laughs> Yeah. You want to see what the? Uh, I want to ban him. Ban? Okay. General figure. Ding boom. What's the uh, Alabama band? Alabama band. What is the point of overclocking? Yeah. Well, you increase the frequencies of your computer to get higher performances. Ban that guy as well. Shooting rocks. No, the, the, the green one. And you're gone. Gone in three, two, one. <laughs> Hi, Francois. Uh, so we have Francois Pienoel here on the on the live chat. Important question from Francois: Why did you cut your hair? Uh, well, I used to have long hair. It's it's much much easier like this, and you should know that because here in Taipei it's so hot that it's much better to have short hair than long hair. Actually, he he, he tried to find a girlfriend, so that's why he cut his hair. No, I trying to find a job. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> What a uh, question from H HD Skills Pro. What are these guys playing on the PCI slot? Uh, it used to be Grease, because we are using Vaseline for avoiding the uh, water to go on the main board. Okay. <coughs> uh, Question from GPRICES that is a bit out of end. What kind of phones do you guys prefer, Samsung or iPhone? I actually do prefer Android phone, not even uh, not Samsung or... I don't like the iPhones uh, for a few reasons, but uh, I'm using the S3 now, but this one is going down, so I'm thinking about changing that. Maybe getting the OnePlus, one from uh, OnePlus, the, the Chinese company. Um, the main issue for me is that I need to have uh, removable batteries for, the, for that. Um... Let's say what uh, don't guys don't forget follow us on Twitch. The subscribe to the channel that is on the side of the no the other side of this live. Uh, uh, also don't forget to follow us on YouTube and uh, Twitter at Overclocking TV all in one word at Truthman at Xiala X Y L A. Um, we are going to take a few more questions. Uh, François Pienoel, you know you're welcome here. You will. Too bad you didn't come to Taiwan this uh, this time after 12 or 15 years of Computex. <coughs> Planet 86. Oh, Jake. Uh, Truth man, are you going to the white party? Yeah, no, I'm going back to I'm going back home on June 24th, so I won't be there on June 28th for the white party here in Taiwan. <coughs> <coughs> Question from Ramzik Fatality: Is it hard to overclock a SSD? Uh, well, actually, you cannot really overclock SSD except one of the Intel ones. Uh, that makes not much sense right now to, to, to do that. Actually, if you want to overclock the SSD, you overclock the uh, BCLK, the base clock on the Intel platform. And that's actually have some interference on the, on the speed, if I'm right. Maybe it's not true with D99, D97 anymore. I love your accent. Well, it could be like this, even worse. Um,
video challenge for uh, Planet 86. Would you slap eight pack for a six pack of beer? Well, I would not <laughs> even slap him for six tons of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can ask him whether we can divide it in half, and then he would accept the slap. But I'm actually. We I won't even beer. try. We me and eight pack both don't drink any alcohol, so it's not yeah. going to be a good deal. Um, question from Fal. Phalanx, Phalanx, Phalanx Laser. Laser. When overclocking CPU, what would you choose? Water cooling or air cooling? Well, just go for water cooling. Like, all in one water cooling is good enough to sustain like, the regular load. So the performance is the same like a very good air cooler. Yeah. So you can also go for yeah, it's good air cooler. Not much different. It's just the, the way you want your, your rig to look. And it's, uh, he asked, would you prefer Intel or AMD, the GT Man 006? Uh, personally, I don't really. Um, I don't have a preference, it just depends. At home I have a HT PC with the AMD Cabini CPU, so that's fine for that, but for overclocking I'm using a 4770K, so it's, yeah, really depends on, on the purpose. Um, is it worth getting Devil's Canyon now or wait? Well, if you can, if you can, uh, if you can find it in the shop, well, you can go for it if it's just going to be in Hercule, because the Default frequency is 4 GHz, that's actually the fastest Intel CPU so far they ever released. Um, for extreme overclocking there is no much difference uh, between the 4790K and the 4770K. <coughs> Some of the people, uh, yeah, we have a 12-hour difference with the like uh, with the US, um, basically the uh, the East Coast. Uh, so I know that you, for you guys, like 2 a.m., like past 2 a.m. So we will be here until I think that's gonna be like 8 p.m. tonight. So that's gonna be 8 a.m. in the morning for the uh, Eastern guy in the US. Uh, question from Obi Time: Do you guys plan on working in the industry after college or after graduations? Uh, well, I don't because I'm working in the computing science already. I'm a solution architect for performance monitoring. But for Roman, most of the guys that have been doing this uh, this hobby, yes, they end up in this industry after. Like uh, Elmore finishes. Um, I can't remember exactly. Like he, he, he had a degree in like uh, electronics, so he's now working for Asus. Uh, some of the guys, uh, Sophos, now working for Gigabyte. He used to, to be living in Greece. Now he lives in, here in Taiwan. Um, well, yes. Like most of the guys end up in this uh, industry after all. <coughs> When will the 4097, uh, 4790K released in Europe by first bin? Well, François Pignanoel could answer that. I actually think it, I think it was June 14 for the release, but I'm not sure. I need to check. There was a question about the 4960X CPU when that's gonna be out, but it's already out for a year now. It was the Chill 3 
20, yeah, last year from Pemberton's. So if you're meaning the uh, extreme editions of the refresh, there's no official date for that in, uh, right now. <laughs> OC Little Boy is asking, what does it, it pack do? Lifting uh, <laughs> hard. He's actually like, preparing again his, uh, his setup. <laughs> nice man, come here. What's so funny? I'm like, I was like, I was like standing right behind you, like. <laughs> say what? <laughs> come say hi. Oh. <laughs> there was one guy asking, oh wait, can I first get a drink? Oh can yeah, can you get me one please? So we're gonna get Massman on the on the live. Uh, Massman is the uh, spokesperson here at HWBot. He is uh, the organizer of this uh, overclocking gathering for the 10 years of HWBot.org. The only and the best website to rank your scores in overclocking, oh yeah! He's the CEO of HW Bot making 10, 10k a day. <laughs> <laughs> Roughly. <laughs> so welcome guys in Europe. It's early morning for you and here for us it's early afternoon and for the US guy it's like early in the, the night. Where is the 8 pack deal? Oh, that was a question. What team will you be follow will we be following during the World Cup? Uh, well, I don't really like soccer, to be honest. So I will cheer for uh, friends, as I'm a French guy, but I don't really care. Uh, I have to cheer for Brazil because my girlfriend is from Brazil, so... I have to cheer for that. Uh, what team gonna be running you, Dern Bauer? What team will you be running for at the World Cup? What? What team will you be supporting for the World Cup? What team? Yeah. Germany? For the Team Cup. What, for the World Cup, the Soccer World Cup. Soccer World Cup, I'm not into soccer at all. I don't so even know when the stuff starts. He's not interested in football, it doesn't really give me German. I don't know. I'm interested in overclocking and women, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to have a lot of trouble. <laughs> G Priceless says, Some dude just photobomb you. I'm in a black shirt with yellow words. Well, that is that guy. Get, get closer to the mic. It's, it's, it's very noisy around here. Hi, Miss Man. Hello. Somebody asked um, if you would stay with you on a lonely island if you haven't showered for, uh, for one week. Sorry? The, 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 the first question was, would, if you were stuck on an island, would you prefer to be stuck with Massman or Mark Bayer? And I say Massman. And then the, Thank you the, very the, much. the, next, um, the next question was, even if Massman didn't shave for a week. Shave? I shave every... No, I don't. Not shave. Shower. Shower, shower. shower for a week. I can't smell anything now. You didn't bring my drinks. Screw you, man. Damn. So what, did, what did you want? You're in charge of the life now. Okay. This cookie is great. Yeah. This is the high cookie. <laughs> <laughs> what, are the, what are these guys talking about? Everything. Good setup for building first time, question mark, what would you choose for the guts and why? I don't understand that question, let's go to the next one. <laughs> when are you guys heading off? Approximately how many hours? Well, approximately in five and a half hours. You're a dick, Garrett. Yeah, I think so too, Garrett. Get, pull, your, pull yourself together. 
Have you two fine gentlemen banged Euro women before? Uh, yes, yes we have. Why not Euro? What's wrong with re Euro women? I don't know. What CPU is he going to overclock in the main video for the... Oh, the, ne the forest... No, I, yeah, I think it's a 60x, but it might be a 30k. Scientology mass man, that's what we're talking about. Great. Question mark, question mark. I gave an answer. What was the question? I don't know anymore. Do you guys build any custom hardware except oh. heat, heat sinks? Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, no. Some people build their own uh, PCBs to do uh, the flashing of memory SPDs and to um, overclock the GPU. So I, I guess, I guess, yeah. Is Taiwan a nice country to visit? I've been thinking about going on a vacation there. Taiwan is great. Definitely. You should definitely come and visit Taiwan. I'm having a nerd gasm. Awesome info. Questions? Well, I think you're going to go on. Where are Americans so far? Mm. Probably eating too much. I see Intel is saying that they will announce the date of the Extreme Edition at IDF. Come there. Interesting. Can I hang out with Massman if I come to Taiwan? Yeah, not sure. I can give you his address. Uh, I would go for black. These these questions are, are very weird. Can you ask? Can you guys ask questions about the overclocking? Maybe. Why? <laughs> What's so great about Taiwan? The weather and especially the people. People are very friendly here. Extremely friendly. And it's very safe. <laughs> Any tips for a first time overclocker? Uh, yeah, yeah. When you crash, try again and try higher. Don't give up. are your thoughts on Supreme Leader Val? We're not know. discussing political stuff. Oh, what a shame. What? That's true. I heard he, he makes great turkey sandwiches, but... <laughs> <laughs> Can you start banning all submissions with ES chips for just for lulz? That is the cause. No, no, I do not like drama that much. Very few things I do, I do just for for the lulz, whatever that means. So for all the guys that don't know what ES are, it's engineering symbols. So that's the, um, the CPUs um, we get before well. the official release date. And they're not yeah, that's not the CPUs well. you can no. officially buy. I said sorry to him and he said you're welcome to them. <laughs> I wish I could have it's that sandwich. <laughs> From Chad Resin. He's being himself again. Uh, I can say. Better level of people when you when you're reading. Massman learned something new. Well done, boys. Who makes the best sandwiches out of you three? Can we replace Massman with Young Pro? No, we cannot. Yeah, yes, <laughs> this is possible. <laughs> Can you give a shout out to all of your sponsors? We give out a sh we give a shout out to Gigabyte, Cluremaster, G Skill, Enermax, and Jellet, and Overclocking TV, obviously, and Team AU too. And they're our extreme cooling. No, those guys not. <laughs> they make shitty products. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what kind of water cooling should you get for serious cool overclocking? I uh, get the kind of water cooling that you can sell off on eBay and then buy liquid nitrogen cooling gear. It's my question again. Can we get some nice close up for of the sexy hardware? Uh sure, where? When? 
Why can't we replace Mass Man with Young Pro? He's irreplaceable. That was a close up. They skipped my question again. Yeah. Which, which question? I don't get it. Uh, GeForce 3 TI. TI 200 to be specific. Actually, it's quite difficult to see all the equations going on. Why are all of you guys so pale? Well, it's the lighting, sorry. We have a lot of spotlights on us. <laughs> How are Taiwanese women in bed? I don't know, I think you, got, you have to go to a different stream for that. I want to see the naked of Team AU again, do you remember? Uh, no, I blocked that memory. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Zeus over a gigabyte? Uh, Nobody said that. No, no, one, no, one, no, no one, one, yeah, that. no one said that. It depends on on the purpose. What you want to what you want to do? Hey, a woman, much more entertaining. Awesome, Willy, Willy, Mama. Stop spilling coke, please. Where is the woman? Here? There's none. Oh no, there was someone passing by. L O L. You know you're not supposed to read the chat, right? Not all the chat. I just re like repeat it for my own no, it's comprehension. You want to train your voice? Oh. Is that guy cooking meth? No. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe. But not here. <laughs> you can see Very the LN2 dry. thing going on in the <laughs> back. <laughs> Ronaldo. Um, the guys are preparing a four way SLI set of four way GTX 780 Ti on a Rampage 4 Black Extreme and. Uh, 4960X Ivy Bridge E. <laughs> Fight boy not so slim. Last man, can you confirm the rumors that Dinos will be making new main, new motherboard key rings? I can neither confirm nor deny that. So, as far as I know, yes, they are going to do the same stuff as before. Did TSM want it? I have no idea. How's the Taiwanese Coke? Surprisingly tasting exactly the same like everywhere else. Arbuas is kicking ass actually. He's an amazing overclocker. A question from Manga Master X. Where do you, where do you think PCR will be in 20 years? Well, still in the uh, UKs. Mess when you're making friends again. I'm mad at you. Wow. We crew crew CFX. We've met each other for 20 minutes online now and you already hate me. That is a I think that's a new personal record. <laughs> Rumors. Um you don't really need that much of train of ed education just um about 5 to 10 years of being very passionate about overclocking will get you right here. <laughs> <laughs> Read the question before answering them. Read the question and then the, the guys. Because it's easier because people may be not reading the chat. Also. And there's like uh, one, one to two minutes difference between our, that's our a good one. chat and the, the way they see it. So oh, that's why you actually. always have to repeat the question with the name of the guy. Do any of you play League of Legends? No. I'm not gaming. You're not gaming. Not gaming not that at all. I'm starting a support group called We Hate Mass Man. Join my Yahoo chat room. Who uses <laughs> Yahoo these days? <laughs> That's weird. You keep ignoring me. No, I don't. Have you guys tested Schrodinger's cat theory? Yeah, we did, and the cat died. <laughs> Question from the bouncer 84 Why is the guy in the top right pouring his ice cold coffee in a machine? Well, that's called Liquinatrogen. Do you still get a natural high when overclocking after 10 years of doing it? Yes, it's, uh, that, that's what they call a passion. For some reason, we're addicted to, to getting higher clocks on any hardware we get in, in, our, in our hands. Someone made a Facebook group called We Hate Mass Man. All right, okay, fair enough. Massman, you are a funny guy. Thanks. <laughs> now you're happy. 
Uh, there's a few basic questions. Let's go back to what is overclocking. So, Pembertox, Pembert are you guys going to break any world record today? Probably not. Uh, they try, but no. Well, they've been trying for four days, so statistically speaking, we do not have any hope. <laughs> Where is the three stars? I don't. I don't understand that question. Where's the sex? Oh. Where's the the auto censorship? How did you get to increase the host's share? Eight pack is better than Massman, and ask Massman why he's ignoring me like my dad does. <laughs> Jeez, I don't want to get into that. That is. <laughs> that is. That is <laughs> Mesman, if I say you love me, I'll give you a cookie. <laughs> I'm not that easy. Why is Tom Cruise speaking with an accent? I don't know. That is. This is hilarious, seriously. <laughs> so for the basics... Then again, uh, Cruise CFX, 8-pack is indeed a better overclocker than I am. And a better, better bodybuilder as well. How did you figure that out? I, I don't know, it's like just <laughs> face pants. Captain Obvious. Is that a is that a crying or is that a laughing it's emoticon? A okay. Thing. I think he's still. Man, how long have you been on the internet? Favorite beer. Uh, right now it's Taiwan Pijo. Obviously we're in Taiwan. Why is the, the third camera pointing at uh, emptiness? Uh, the emptiness is the one from Ronaldo, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. You can no longer read the, the text of chat. You're, uh, how much did this project cost in total? Rough estimate. Uh, we're not going to talk numbers here. Come on, we're all friends here. It's about, about 350. Do you guys work with the EVJ Overclocker Kingpin? Yeah, he's a great friend. Not work, but yeah. good friend. What is your favorite time of cram puff? I have no idea. I like them all. I like all of them, man. Massman is mean, emotionally tearing me up. If you say me lo you love me, I give you... I do love you, Cruci FX, but I think we have to get a different dynamic in our relationship. I mean, we, we're just gonna be friends, you okay? Just have to say, you, you love me. That's what you asked for. Where is Taiwan on the map? Depends from on how you're holding that map. From this way. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys overclock your wristwatches? No, that is. No, that's, that's, that's not very thing. Tom Cruise, why are you at a bench party? <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise has even misspelled. That's a dumb question. <laughs> so you don't play any games. You just try to not destroy a piece of hardware, and pushing it to its, it's breaking point. Terrorist place. Yeah, that's that's exactly <laughs> what we do. We don't play games. We just want to see how far we can push these hardware components, and then run a couple of benchmarks. <coughs> can we ban Massman? Good question. No, we can't. Serious question times, Massman, what benchmarks will be losing points, AM3, UC Bench, and what will be gaming points soon? Uh, we haven't decided on that yet. What time does this event close? Young Pro 1. Actually, uh, for the, uh, the question about the benchmarks, um, I'm sure we'll get rid of PC Mark 05. <laughs> well, prepare for a shitstorm. <laughs> What would you do? What would you guys do if China invaded Taiwan right now? We would probably continue overclocking. I'm not sure. Is it possible to? I'm not gonna read that question. Tom Cruise, do you cruise in a Volvo? If not, what car? Tom Cruise doesn't play games. See, why is this conversation diverting to Tom Cruise? Maybe I'll answer this question. What is the point of overclocking if you're not even making a stable overclock? Well, the difference here is that how is, is how you define stable. For us, stable means being able to finish the benchmark. For you, probably stable means it can run without crashing for 24/7. Maybe it's just a, a different a difference of um, of that definition of stability. 
best Intel CPU? Right now that would be 4790K, I, I assume, for four cores and the 4, 4960X for six cores. What is the whole AMD mantle thing? Please enlighten me. Ugh. I think you should r read some articles on that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cruci effects. It just that's the way it's meant to be. If a government agency offered you a contract to develop robots for warfare, would you take it? Depends on how much they're paying. <laughs> Tom, how do you feel about this? Oh. There's a new movie with Tom Cruise. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to look that bad. When, when he's living the same scene uh, ever, always again and he's uh, wearing some kind of robot suit. I think that was the, the question oh. he was referring to. Awesome. Good movie though. Can we replay the XA video from last night? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> Pemberton X 4.6 to 4.8. If that's on air or water cooling, that is a that is a good overclock for a 4960X. Definitely, if it's a sta like stable. Thoughts on new Pentium Anniversary Edition? I think it's awesome. It's uh, about 65 65 euros, and it, it gets you a CPU that you can overclock and tune and play with. There's going to be a lot of Z97 motherboards available below uh, the 100 euro price point as well. So I think we calculated here and for about 300 euros you're going to be able to buy an overclocking gaming, uh, sorry, an overclocking, how should I say this, an overclocking play rig. Play rig, yeah. A gamer PC. Yeah, I suppose so. Dance for us or riot. Ooh. There was a question whether you can overclock your toaster. Maybe you should check YouTube for the video with a, a toaster versus knife. It's going to be the best overclock for you. Is professional overclocking a full-time job, career, or just a hobby? Can for, be. for a select few, uh, overclocking is indeed a full-time job. Uh, for most of them, it's, uh, it's mainly a, uh, a hobby that got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Why, <laughs> why aren't you guys feeding young boy? <laughs> yes, he does look very tiny and yeah, under maybe underfed. Should, maybe he should put on some on, put on some weight. I buy a lot of stuff that's made from Taiwan. Seriously, how dependable is my product? Actually, the Taiwan production quality is very good. He asked you out on a date. You reject him. Masman, will you go out with me? I don't. What What is the What is the blue heart? What, what is the difference between a blue heart and a red heart? Maybe it's a friend's own heart. I don't know. Oh, I see. Why do hardware companies lock CPUs and GPUs? It's because they want to um, make different SKUs and have different pricing points. Have you had a Overclocking can be a job. Intel.com slash jobs. Look at the name. Oh yeah, Francois. Hello, Francois. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm glad you tuned in. <clears throat> Maybe you can answer some questions from Intel. Oh, we have a, you have Young Pro from Team AU sitting right next to me on my right-hand side. side. Please don't mock him too much. He's em emotionally a little bit unstable, so <laughs> we don't want to have him crying on, on crying on on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys overclock work with Xeon server port CPUs? If so, what kind of clocks do they run? Well, the Xeon CPUs used to be overclocked, and then they would run six gigahertz. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very. <coughs> what do you want to answer a question? Just read the question out loud and that answer it because there's a, a different something. What, do you, wanted to what do you think about Is getting it rid of PC Mark? <laughs> Good. Is it hard to overclock for a newbie? Not that hard. You just got to read into it a little bit and then uh, just start trying it. 
Are you guys Taiwanese? Yes, you can probably see that from yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have the Taiwanese genetics in our body. <laughs> that, 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 that is actually so wrong. <laughs> that is actually really wrong if you say that. We, me and Roman don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure where he got the uh, protein from. But Report no game content? Report no game content? N no, this is overclocking, sorry. How do we, how do we get... Oh, okay. Click on it and ban. <laughs> Can you teach me how to overclock my relationship with my dad? We never talk anymore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> More than one people are asking if you smell. Multiple people are asking, does no man smell? There's a lot of people that want to know how I smell for some reason. <laughs> I find it really disturbing. <laughs> 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 that chat is hilarious, seriously. Why is the e my Hall of Fame much better than HW Bot? Why would you think that? That doesn't make sense at all. Why would it be better? That is the question. Who's got the biggest drumstick? <laughs> I want to overclock my Galaxy S3, is that even possible? Yes, that is very possible. <laughs> You're welcome, son. <laughs> what kind of shampoo do you use? <laughs> what kind of shampoo? <laughs> it's just troll fest. What <laughs> about <laughs> I'm seriously dying on that shit. <laughs> what? Can I overclock a potato? No, no, you cannot. <laughs> Can I download some more CPU cores? Yeah, yeah, just go to www.virusdownload.com. <laughs> maybe, maybe answer that question. I think it's around 1.6. What's the voltage on a 4960X at 6 gigahertz? 1.6 to 1.7. Skinny Tom Cruise is killing it. My investment on you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> when do you guys get a sub button? <laughs> the guy in the back looks like Italian ensign guy, <laughs> Joe <Jordan> Fatoni. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Hey, Carl. Young Pro is my dad, also. Can you huh. They're they're asking for XA to come back on. Don't more. Someone has goo in his beard. White goo. Oh yeah, that would be you. Yeah. <laughs> that would be great. Great. That would be yeah. Joe for Tony from yeah. NSYNC. The second last question uh, from Aria. What the fuck? Arisa Wake. Eight pack is the chapter in my new book. With a love heart on the yeah. end. I think it's a romantic novel. <laughs> Come over here, smack his head. In front of the back. No need. Yeah, it's still on top there. When did Top Gun switch from a flight school to overcome? Serious question. My is from Donkey. I'm sorry, I may, may be stupid, but what does overclocking benefits on a cell phone or computer? Are there negative effects on doing so? So the the benefit is that you get higher performance and the negative effect is that you're going to use more power and you're going to generate more heat. Um, if, you're, if your cell phone is running, I think for cell phones overclocking doesn't really make any sense because you have already have four or eight cores uh, and even for a, for a PC it's not that beneficial anymore. We do it mostly for fun and just to see how, how high this, the, these tips, systems can um, clock. Um, Manga Master X asked the question whether it's uh, dangerous to have a 520 watt power, CPU, uh, power supply and using a very strong GPU. Actually, it's not dangerous. Um, in worst case, your system will shut down re related to OCP, our current protection. Um, if it's running fine, you can just keep it. It's not really dangerous. Crew CFX, you're the best. <laughs> Is the guy in the middle the founder, owner, CEO of this HW Bot website thing? Yeah, he's the CEO making it roughly about 10k a day. How many CPUs have you set on fire? 
<laughs> uh, zero, zero in total, yeah, zero in total. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. Do you find the quality of Intel processor to be worth it compared to AMD? Yeah, Intel produces very high quality CPUs. Higher quality, actually. If you look at the efficiency, the quality is better of Intel. What are the hazards of using liquid nitrogen? Well, as long as you're fairly quick with it and it doesn't touch your skin, then very low hazards. If it gets in your shoe, like it did to Vince the other day, very big hazards. Yep. And don't drink that stuff. Don't ever do that. I gotta sub out. Yeah. You all look like my cousin. She's hot. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. I don't know. I guess AMD will never be our sponsor. Actually, we have quite good relationships with AMD. They make products that can overclock, and as long as companies provide us gear to overclock with, we're fine with them. Have you overclocked a dual processor board? And if so, what was the specs? Well, EVJ made an SR2 uh, motherboard with, uh, what was it, a Gulf Town unlocked yeah. six core the CPU? SR2. Yeah, SR2. Okay, Artisan, are there Olympics for overclocking? Are any of you gold medal winners? Well, there are no Olympics for overclocking, but there is a whole bunch of live overclocking competitions. Um, I myself have won an overclocking competition before, twice even. So I guess I am a gold medal winner. You're a gold digger? S <laughs> same here, but well, it depends on the competition. It really depends on the competition. Whoa, what do you what do you think about the C state mechanism for the eight core bulldozers and its relation to performance on unoptimized OSs such as Windows Seven? Wow, I do not have an an instant opinion on that. Can you read this comment out loud? I did. What price range do you think it would be acceptable to build a decent gaming rig? Uh, well, it depends on what games you're playing, but I think you can already build a nice one for 500 to 600 euros. Do you get parts only from sponsors or you get paid as well? Um, so those, the, the people that are doing it professionally, they get a wage like any other, at, at any other job. Uh, but those that do it for hobby usually only get the parts from the sponsors. Can you reminisce about the days of the Atlan Venice course? Oh, those Atlan Venice days. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an actor. <laughs> when did you start overclocking? For some reason, I am imagining you trying to overclock computers with like 500. 12k VRAM. No, I'm not that old. I started uh, overclocking with an AMD K62 uh, processor. This one. Are you guys making money from this? No. Actually yes. not. Not from the event itself, but I, I am I am my job is in overclocking. Come on guys, be more creative with your questions. Oh, awesome. Does Roman's hair double as a coconut splitter? We've tried it, but then we had to bring Roman to the hospital and so it doesn't really work. That's why his hat is like shaped a little weird. What's, up? What's wrong with my haircut? I don't get it. Don't be so sensitive about it. I mean, you're the one that did copy that last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think water cooling has become way easier for people to install and worth a purchase with a new single system? Actually, the all-in-one water coolers are very silent, and I would recommend you buying one for your new, for your new system, for sure. 
what do you do to the systems after overclocking? Well, um, in the ideal situation, we are not killing anything. So actually, you can just use the uh, components as normal normal stuff for a gaming PC or whatever. But I think most of the overclockers just sell the parts afterwards and go for a newer ones. Okay, this is an interesting question. What does your job entail and what do what value do companies see in an overclocker? Well, an overclocker is someone who um, who pushes a certain um, a certain product to its limits. So it's very easy or it's it's easier to debug what kind of issues there what kind of issues you will run into in, on the long term. Are you guys Pokemon fans? And if so, what is your favorite? I did play Pokemon. And Me too, when I was like 10. I didn't. No, you never played no. Pokemon. You should. It's actually a lot I, of fun. Actually, I never had any game console at home. I had a, the game Boy, a Game Boy Color. <coughs> I think the best one is Relaxo. Or how was that fat thing called? Snorlax. Snorlax? Yeah. yeah. Do you have girlfriends? What is overclocking? Sounds so German. Yeah, that's that's you. What's Most so important question: cats or dogs? What cats. about both? Dogs. Cats. Dogs. Cats. True cats. Cats. <laughs> cats kind of learn <laughs> shit. Hey, I have a rabbit and I don't know how to go in this cage, so I'm fine Whoa. with that. That's that's much. Massman, in your opinion, for gaming Crossfire FX or LSI, as I have quad Crossfire, I see better performance in my 4K monitor. But what's your opinion? Depends on the graphics card, but I think both uh, technologies have matured to a point where uh, both of them still have issues. What is the most ridiculous overclocks you have? You guys have done. Well, in uh, I went to Finland when uh, they released the Phenom 2 processors, and we used liquid helium to push beyond seven gigahertz validation, which was the highest point of that one. It was the first seven gigahertz CPU. I thought you were about talking about the sunlight picture. I was like, oh. oh. No, that was liquid helium. And we saw on a thermometer minus 250 degrees centigrade, which was a pretty mm -hmm. awesome moment. Completely snowed in rig. Oh, this is going too quick. Yeah. Will overclocking kill my computer at some point? I think it's pretty difficult to kill... Uh, components if you just do air or water cooling overclocking just go up gradually and then see when the temperature is too high and then back off a little bit young pro reminds me of snorlax <laughs> somebody said young pro reminds me of snorlax he doesn't get it i'd like to learn how to overclock how do i get started well the easiest way to get started is just to look up what components you have in your system and then look for guides on the internet there's a whole bunch of people writing really really good guides on how to start overclocking with any type of hardware have you guys ever done some crazy laptop overclocks without cooling pads yeah sure we open up our notebooks and then use a the liquid nitrogen to cool them down Actually, there is this one guy who did that. The, net, the, net, the netbook? The, the guy from China, who's, uh, what's his name? Um, one who broke the single core yeah. uh, HW Prime record. So we actually, yeah, some, some guys are really doing that, yeah. In the bottom right camera, what is the blue looking cloth they're, they're using? Uh, it's some kind of very thick uh, paper tissue, which uh, absorbs uh, a lot of the humidity and a lot of the condensation. We call it the overclocking paper towel because everyone just likes it. What do you do when the power supply inside a sealed computer case catches on fire? Just run away as fast <laughs> as possible. Just get the hell out of there. Helium or nitro? Definitely nitro. It's a lot easier to control the temperature. Do you guys play MMOs? No, I don't have time for games anymore. Overclocking is taking up all my time. There's a question. What are normal temperatures for Intel and AMT processors using air water coolers? Um, everything for Intel below 90 degrees is totally fine. And for AMD, you should probably stay below 85 to 80. Would you actually a shutter shutter? Would you try to refrigerate a system for a CPU if you can counteract the condensations? 
there are systems with um, with uh, we call it a phase change systems which will cool, which will cool down your CPU to about minus 20 to minus 25 degrees, and the key is here to just make sure the area around the CPU is, is very tightly insulated. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you guys hate sitting here and watching trolls make make comment? Zero, I love it. What is the worst thing that could possibly happen when you overclock? Mm. You, see, you can com you can components could actually die, yeah. but it's very very unusual. How do you like Taipei so far, and what's your favorite part of the city? I love Taipei. It's a great great city to be in. Uh, my favorite part? That's a difficult question. There's a lot of nice areas here. Have you ever dropped your rig into a vat of liquid nitrogen? No. Actually, no. We, we tried in Germany uh, three years ago and it doesn't work at all because some components on the motherboard, they just stop working at like minus 20, minus 30 degree. So it just does not work because there are some controllers like USB controllers which cannot handle low temperatures. They used to have, a, like six or seven years ago, they used to have a French website that did the ULTX. So that was a box where you can put the main board in it and lower all the temperature in that yeah. same issue. There's some part of the motherboard or the graphic cards that cannot work when it's too cold, especially on the main board. <coughs> I have a GTX 780 and want to know the max temperature for GPUs. Um, it's about the same as for CPU, so everything below my, uh, plus 90 is fine. What is the highest power draw you've a power draw you've reached when overclocking CPUs. I think if you run a four-way system with a CPU heavily overclocked, you're, you're going way over 2,000 watts. Actually, last week we tested, um, or two weeks ago, a 780 Ti uh, Kingpin edition from EVGA, and we reached a peak of 2,400 watt with single GPU, and, and the PSU was just hooked up to the card, nothing else. It was yeah. not the system itself. So the peak could be really high, and the average load was 1,200 watts just for the GPU. So yeah, that's why we need very strong PSUs, by the way. Tom Cruz, have Cruz. you done a full submer uh, submersion build in cooking oil, oil or similar yet? Um, no, I have not done that personally yet, but, but one guy from, uh, from the US, his name is Mike Guava, actually did that for a, the final of a live overclocking competition, and it turned out to work very well, actually. Surprisingly well. It worked well until you have to remove the main board yes. and change the stuff on it. <laughs> Guys, I have strep throat. What should I do to relieve the pain? Go and see a doctor. Do not ask <laughs> people on the internet. <laughs> Any injuries while overclocking? Yeah, sometimes you have like slight burn wounds from the from the nitrogen. Yeah. Just happens, or you cut your finger on a fan or stuff like that. Not not nothing serious. Yeah. What was your worst overclocking experience? Um, well, mine was I bought two 780s and a new uh, 4960X and everything died because I had a false uh, power CPU, <laughs> I had a power supply unit. So, well, see your money, see your money, and it's gone. Yeah. How much does overclocking reduce the lifespan of hardware? That's an interesting question because um, we, we, we still run CPUs that are maybe, what, 15 years old and still uh, run benchmarks on them. So the question is, um, how long do you need your CPU to live? Does it make sense to, to care about lifespan when your CPU can run for 20 years? Or if you only need it for five years, who cares? Which one of you is Frederick Cordain, the CEO? None of us is Frederick. Okay, good night, Francois. Good night. Have fun with Broadwell. Oh no, isn't that isn't that code name still under NDA? Oh. Uh oh. Shit. Reporting to Intel. <laughs> Army or overclocking? Uh, oh yeah, overclocking definitely. Make overclocking not war. Can a board actually melt if too much power is pumped into it? Yeah, if the if the, if the VRM design isn't good, you can actually melt the individual power uh, delivery components. Well, uh, why does having more cores activated in your CPU raise the temperature when overclocking? Simply, you uh, have more power to a lot more uh, transistors, so it's, it's just an electrical thing. 
You use more transistors, so you have a lot more power consumption. <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. We're not answering political questions, by the way. Does overclocking reduce the resale value of hardware? Yeah. Actually, of actually, it depends. If you have, if you can find a really good CPU, you can actually that is true. even increase the value. Yes, actually, it's interesting. If you have a really good CPU, you can probably get twice to triple the amount of money that you pay in a retail exactly. for a new for yeah. a new one. But in general, yes, if you overclock it, then people will not pay as much as a non-overclocked. Yeah. What do you think about the new Intel processor from mobile platforms? I think they're very interesting. Question about the overclocking speed, the overclocking speed, the uh, internet speed here. It's a hundred megabyte connections. Yeah. So that's quite fast. That's okay fast. Yeah, Coke Zero. How do you stop the, exci the excitement while waiting for your computer parts to arrive? You I go think to bed? I think I cannot comment on that <laughs> specific question. <laughs> <laughs> What's the longest you have ever lasted without breathing? <gasps> Probably like two minutes. <sighs> Not that long. I wouldn't survive underwater. Is there a specific reason why the event is hosted in Taiwan and not somewhere in Europe closer to your homes? Well, um, number one, I actually live in Taipei. And number two, the reason why we have the event here is because last week it was Computex in Taipei, Taiwan. And Computex is a, is a massive trade show for, um, for IT, basically. What is your salary? <laughs> <laughs> my, like my, before, salar my he's salary making, he's making about 10k a day my salary is undisclosed <laughs> my tongue is stuck in the disc tray what should I do well, Open it. <laughs> well take care of that first and then come back when your tongue is no longer stuck in the disc tray priorities how do you stop your excitement from waiting for your system to reboot in between clock tweaking you go on that one? I, I, oh, sorry, which one? I have a seven year old computer and I wonder which is the critical temperature. Uh, FASI or one, um, you have to specify what exactly kind of CPU you're using. This is an interesting question as well. For the average PC user with no special cooling in their system, is it safe to overclock? If so, how much? Uh, yes, it, it is not unsafe to overclock. Basically, if you stick to small steps and small increments, you'll find what your CPU, uh, what your uh, system is stable at, and then just back off a, a little bit, and then you'll just run fine like you would run right now. What did you study? I studied psychology in university. He's studying mechanical engineering. Actually, actually micro engineering. I'm actually studying how you do the layers on CPUs and stuff like that. What did you study? Oh, I did uh, computer science <laughs> and virtualization technologies. I miss read disk drive and actually... Oh, no, I'm not going to read that question. <laughs> what happens if thermal paste falls over from heat sinks to the CPU? Like um, actually, nothing. Usually, thermal pastes are not electrical conductive, so it's not a problem. You can put it everywhere. It doesn't matter. What does a liquid nitrogen burn feel like? Pretty much like a normal burn wound, actually. Exactly the same, exactly the same. Are there professional overclocker people all over the world, like someone I could pay to do my rig? Uh, there is plenty of overclockers around the world. Just try to find people on, the, on forums, and a lot of people will be very happy to help you out.
Can you answer the question, please? What? That, that gives you the shot. And it's off. Uh, just burn the guy. Is overclocking something anyone can do or is there a big learning curve? Actually, it's pretty funny because Intel had a, uh, an advertising a couple of years ago which, uh, which made it very clear that even your grandmother could overclock. That was when uh, Sandy Bridge released, I think. Okay, Fassi, thanks for clarifying the CPU. Um, for your CPU, you should um, stay below 70 degrees. I think for your CPU, 75.6 degree was the maximum um, specified by AMD. So everything below 70 should be totally fine. Who is your favorite Power Ranger? The red one, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dumb question. <laughs> if there are any leftover liquid nitrogen left over after the event, can you dip things in it and drop it on the ground? Sadly enough, yes, we actually do play with the leftovers of liquid nitrogen. Making ice creams. Yeah. Uh, the maximum temperature of I5 2500K uh, should be around 90 degrees. Actually, the, the maximum is 105, but then um, it will maybe lead to a shutdown. So if you stay below 90, that's fine. Lucas has an interesting question. He says, what are those guys building in the lower right corner? They're actually building a four-way 780Ti rig that they're going to try um, to use to break the Fire Strike world record. They've been trying for four days now and... Um, yeah, so far nothing. Um, so why How far do you think I can OC the new Pentium G3258 Haswell to stock 3.2 gigahertz? I think um, 4.2 will, uh, sorry, yeah, 4.5 will not be an issue on air cooling, and I think some of the good ones will go to 5 gigahertz. Do know that the, the Pentium uh, processors are the lowest, uh, the lowest bins of Intel, so they don't specifically bin them for overclocking. Which means that you'll f you'll find a very big uh, variance between um, between the, the the various CPUs. That didn't even exist. Oh, it does exist. Did you check that one? Terrorist place. I don't get a question to be honest. Actually, mass when your intelligence is incorrect. Right. We are second so far. Oh, you actually had a, a good score. Yes. Uh, I, I I must I I must apologize for uh for uh incorrectly informing you about Team U and Eight Pack's performance today. They have the second score in Fire Strike. Extreme. Um, there was a question. There was a question. Was binning means binning is um, looking for a better CPU than the one you already have. Boo. Um, the maximum temperature for four eight twenty K. It's like um, any any other Ivy Bridge yeah, CPU. Yeah. Any re um, recent Intel CPU is the maximum is one hundred five, and you should usually stay below ninety. Question, searching a new computer, what is the best I need cheap? Well, um, AMD has very good low-end uh, CPUs, price performance-wise, but as an overclocker, I would definitely recommend you looking at the new Pentium Anniversary Edition. I know nothing about computers. Is my CPU good? i7-3930K at 3.2 GHz? Yes, yes, that is good. If you have better cooling, can you overclock more? Yes, if the, the more heat you can dissipate, the higher you'll be able to overclock. You can actually combine girlfriend and overclocking. That's surprisingly, but it works. Yeah, degrees Celsius is correct. It's 90 degrees Celsius. That should be your maximum on the CPU. <laughs> How many pro processors have you burned? Um, so far, I killed three in seven years. Yeah. So it's not much. Who is your favorite Disney princess? What's the what's the princess from Aladdin? Jasmine. Yes, Jasmine. 
Why did Truffman cut his hair? Did he have... <laughs> well, I hope not. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Not anymore. <laughs> Do AMD FX processors really have eight cores? No. Well, they have eight compute units. Yeah, you cannot compare it to the cores from Intel. Is the i5 2500K still good or should I upgrade? I think if you can overclock it to like 4, 4.5 gigahertz, it's still good for, uh, for gaming. There's a question, I have an Ivy i5 3570K and he asks for upgrading through a 3770K. Well, if you bought a case Q CPU, you can overclock the CPU. Just raise the multiplier by maybe one or two and you will be the same performance. Go even higher and you will be, have a better performance than on the uh, more expensive CPU. That's the point of overclocking. Right, with the Corsair H100i and the new i7 4790K, what can I, uh, uh, what can I expect gigahertz wise? Um, on average, 4.5, I, I think, 4.4, 4.5. If you have a good one, to 4.8, maybe even 5 gigahertz. Just try it out. Um, max temperature of uh, NVIDIA GeForce Gamer GT430, uh, same as the CPUs, stay below 90 and you're fine. How does overclocking help for gaming? Well, it will increase your frames per second and maybe that'll allow you to like turn up the, the quality settings one more notch. I think we should uh, explain overclocking. <laughs> Messman, what is overclocking? <laughs> overclocking is the, is increasing the operating frequency of hardware components, aiming at uh, achieving higher performance levels. Was that good? Was that a good explanation? No, it's okay. That was accurate, isn't it? Yeah, accurate is the word. Are you guys from Belgium? No, he is from Belgium. He is from Germany. I'm from well, Canada. I'm French, but I live in Canada. I mean, he's Belgium, but he lives in Taiwan. Uh, is this a CPU? Intel Pentium processor G3223 gigahertz. Yes, that, that would be a CPU, correct. <laughs> what? I heard Masman got a company car since he moved to Taipei. What Actually, I in Taipei, I used uh, the public transport yeah. because it's very, very convenient and very cheap. What do you think of AMD's future as a company? Gain, yeah. lose, market share. Yeah. AMD, shift. AMD, yeah, AMD is transitioning to a new, um, uh, yeah, as a business. So they have a, they have interesting plans. The question is just if they're going to be able to deliver uh, on those plans. <laughs> um, what would be good starter tips for trying to overclock? Um, try to find some guides for your uh, system on the web. Just go for whatever hard, uh, CPU you have, type into Google, then you need an overclocking guide and just read before you do anything. <laughs> Man, those... <laughs> This is an amazing question. Hello, Canadian guy. Do you think your friends with the black shirt should start eating bicycles? <laughs> eating bicycles? Are Taipei assassins popular in Taipei? Yeah, they are incredible, incredibly popular here in Taipei. They were actually playing an exhibition match at the Kingston Hyperx OC Takeover competition, and the overclocking uh, competition was sort of a sideshow on that event. Hey eight pack, can you wave? Can you wave into the camera, please? <laughs> Besides Intel and AMD, are there any other players in the market that can actually be a competition against Intel? Um, not in the PC desktop market. On mobile, though, we see Qualcomm and Samsung being very competitive. Is it true that you can download a RAM? No, it's not true. Do not believe it. 
What do you think about the ASUS five-way optimization? It's actually just a marketing thing. Nothing else. There is no thing uh, such as five-way. Who's better in arm wrestling, Dino or that Finnish ginger? Depends how <laughs> depends how drunk they both are. <laughs> Who's better in arm wrestling, Dino or that Finnish ginger? <laughs> that that Finnish ginger is SF3D, by the way. He uh, he just beat the world record on single GPU Fire Strike Extreme as well as uh, full out Fire Strike Extreme. When and or. When and or why should I move away from LJ1155? Um, anytime you want, anytime you're ready for it. Uh, the noise in the background is the refilling of the Dior. <laughs> 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 I know, I don't know what it sounds like when you're fapping, but yeah, uh, well. Someone likes Finland. Oh, okay, more people like Finland actually. Actually, Do you guys know um, can, uh, Sa Samsa? Do you guys are fans of Samsa? I can I can say some Finnish words. Oh, don't say the bad words. <laughs> the, the only one knows. Yeah. I can say. Uh, I know that Hampuri Linen is a is a hamburger. <laughs> I can go order a What is the fire strike thing by the way? Randomly entered in this channel and it sounds interesting. Fire strike is one of the presets of the 3D uh, 3D mark uh, benchmark. So it's a, it's one of the most more heavier uh, graphic card benchmarks. Oh. I think it's time to ban more people. Man, the the, the chat is all going completely crazy. Are there any popular overclocking teams from Poland? Um, popular that is a <laughs> that is a that is a subjective uh, item, but there are there are a couple of good overclockers in Poland for sure. Extreme Addict actually attended a couple of overclocking competitions. <laughs> G Life One, yes, yes, she should. Actually, it must be very very small if you can shove it in there. Sweden, though, best country ever. Well, if you say so. <laughs> Finland reporting in. Tonight. Will you three play a quick round of rock, paper, scissors? I think that is a great idea. Uh, we All did right. that before. I on, lose. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Fuck you, dude! <laughs> <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> I freak much. I would definitely recommend you to go to go to class. That is more important than watching this stream. <laughs> <laughs> they just eight is seven kilograms. <laughs> uh, you guys are actually pretty funny. Germany wins as always. Germany wins. Well, oh, except from the except guy in the frame. Well, that, that that there's wrong. some historic historical stuff we should not go in deeper. Germany always wins, except for on two occasions when it really mattered. <laughs> can you overclock without making the computer sound like a drill? Yeah, sure. You can find very. Um, Silent uh, coolers. PJ, what's your favorite porn star? This is this is supposed to be a, a child-friendly chat. Really? Uh, is it? Uh, I saw the question, but I can't find it. Is it possible to overclock an Intel CPU without the K? Yes, it is. But then you'll have to increase the the, the base clock frequency, which is not recommended yeah. because it also overclocks, for example, the USB frequency. And Can you can you three play a quick round of Russian roulette? No, we've played enough for this stream. How much McDonald's do you consume a day? I don't really eat that much McDonald's actually. Crucifix wants you to love him. Still. Still. <laughs> 
What software should I use for my overclocking? Intel XTU is a very good application and it has a very awesome benchmark built in. I would definitely recommend that. The BIOS is the best software though. Windows 7 or Windows 8.1? Question. Definitely preferring Windows 7. Yeah, me too. I know you're using Windows 8. Yeah. I like it on my notebook. How's Taipei? Hello from California. Well, hello from Taipei, you. Hello. Hi. Taipei is great. What text is on your shirt? I think you have to stand up and show you. What is the difference between the V-Core and the VID? The VID is the voltage in identification something. Uh, it's basically if you power on your CPU and stock uh, clocks, it's the voltage you get. And the V-Core is the cor current voltage um, you, you're going to use even if you overclock. So the VID is not the V-Core. Question, how do you store all the nitrogen? Do you keep some at home? Yes. Nope. Yeah, in Belgium I had a tank of 180 liters of LN2 constantly or always on standby. Why do you guys love this profession of overclocking things and what can be the best uh, great joy so far? It's very difficult to, to, to actually define why I like overclocking. It just... I don't know. I just like it. I don't yeah. know why. I really love the community to be honest. That the is stream kind of overclocking community is great. It's like it's like a small family with a lot of drama and problems. Like in every yeah, family. It's like a family. <laughs> <laughs> What's the cheapest you think I can build a fully OC server using the Pentium G3258? Um, I don't really understand what you're trying to achieve there. OC server? Yeah, no I don't need for that. There's no OC server necessary. Uh, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, are they genetically modified? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the 2014 Brazil World Cup? Go Belgium! Go Belgium! But the Germans are probably gonna win. But I don't care. Is it, is it possible to still have a social life besides overclocking? Yes. Yeah, definitely. No problem whatsoever. No problem, like Nick Shi would say. No problem. No the problem. egg came, er, came first. What a silly question. Well, okay, we got so that sorted. Awesome. Okay. Let's not check that. Maybe just kick him out. Yeah, just kick him. What do you guys think about ASUS's auto overclocking software? Well, this is not specifically to ASUS, but I would always recommend trying to overclock yourself. Um, software usually sets voltages relatively high, or at least higher than um, higher than you actually need. <laughs> it's him again. Massman, do you like the States? I don't. I live in Tennessee. I want to go to Finland. Actually, I went to the USA in the beginning of this year and I like the people there. German dude, give the France dude some zero to our eyes. <laughs> no, actually, I would get a real one. No, 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 you're not getting the real no, no, one. No, no, I'm getting the real one. I'm giving him zero just for you. Would you recommend overclocking an AMD FX 8350? I'm currently running that with a Corsair H100i cooler. I'm not sure whether it worth doing. It's always worth overclocking, seriously. And that uh, H100i is a high quality cooler. So yeah, try it. Try it and see what you can get. Can I overclock my PC even though I've been running it stock for a year or two? Of course. There's yep. no Do it. You've not been using every single bit of performance you can get from your PC for two years now. It's performance for free, so you should you should uh, use it. Oh, is he blowing? Uh, is he using a blowtorch in the background? 
are they heating up or uh, and cooling back down? Yes, yeah. So they they're using the blowtorch to quickly heat up the the cooling pots to uh, avoid a, a cold buck issue. A cold buck is basically when uh, hardware is at a certain temperature where it cannot operate operate anymore. Uh, Dutch this too asked, can o laptops CPUs be overclocked? Gener in general, yes. But you should mind that uh, laptop designs are usually running at the edge of the of the performance. So. Um, maybe 100 megahertz, but not more. What's the most expensive component you have destroyed? Uh, it must be around 1,000. Yeah, for me it was a Q, QX 9,650, so 1,000 euro. You can hear the noise, man. You're too cold. You're too cold. Your turn. Uh, what's the question? What do what to do to overclock? What to what to do? What to look out for? As much as info as you can. So, first thing you need to know you need to do when when overclocking is um, increasing the frequency. When your system is unstable, you can over you can increase the voltage a little bit to make it more more stable. Increasing the voltage will also increase your temperature. So you, so you should look very closely at your at your temperatures. Once you hit about eighty degrees in uh, in load. Um, back back a little bit down. <laughs> That's the chick magnet from Germany on the left. Have any tips how to make a broadwurst? I don't know what a broadwurst is, but it meant usually it's breadwurst. And you should maybe just go on buy one. And thanks for the compliment, by the way. He's talking about uh, the, the chickens, the animals. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I like chicken. How often should you update an OC system? As often as you want, there is no limit to how many times you can OC a, uh, update your system. We usually have a whole bunch of components that we, um, we build all kinds of different systems with. There's a lot of question about uh, what kind of liquid cooling systems people can get, uh, what's the best value for money. But there's so many all-in-one uh, cooling systems that are pretty much all the same performances. Uh, so basically you can go with any the one you, you, you would prefer after that. Uh, any, any thought on that, Roman? Yeah. No. no. Can Fine. I use that Intel overclocking software even if I don't have an Intel in my PC? No. 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 Sadly enough, no. Um, what do you think about the Noctua NHD 14 air cooler versus the H100i water cooler? They are roughly at about the same performance. It doesn't matter if you have half degree or one degree lower. It doesn't matter. What percentage increase do you generally see from increasing the performance of the CPU? Um, I think you can easily get up to 20% in benchmarks. A man is sitting in his cabin in Michigan. Three hours later, he gets out of his cabin in Texas. How is that possible? Time travel or portals? Honest question. If overclocking is all you do, what's the point of doing it? if you never get to enjoy the performance in game, games and whatnot. Actually, we measure the performance using our benchmarks, and then we try to compete uh, for having the highest benchmark score. So it's kind of like drag racing uh, for cars, right? You build a car to go down the, down, the, down the mile as fast as possible, and you just enjoy that. You just enjoy chase, chasing the, we're, the, the we're top actually, speed. Yeah, we actually like to beat each other. It's a competition, which is fun, not uh, the whole trucking itself. What is the name of the German guy on the right? Uh, Roman. What is your name? Roman. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Actually, my nickname is Der Bauer, with an H. So. How do you feel about the Corsair H? 110 versus the H100. I, they probably are very similar. I don't know. I do not. I do not have any emotional attachment to any of my cooling gear. From Corsair, do you have any feeling about that? No. It's better and more silent. What software should I try out with my AMD for overclocking? Well, you have the AMD Overdrive software, or just go straight from the BIOS. Uh, question: GPU can also be overclocked. Yes, that's actually what they are doing on that side of the screen. For GPU overclocking you have to use uh, some software though, like Asus GPU Tweak, MSI Afterburner or EBJ something with Elite something. No, it's not Precision not. X. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. What is your favorite serial? I don't know. Roman, you don't need to lean in to 
goes into the mic when you're Yeah, talking. I don't know why you're trying to hug me while you're talking. This is pretty awkward. <laughs> Thanks for the comment. Hey, Roman, can you kiss the camera for me, smiley face? Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, now we have oh, to clear come it. On, no. <laughs> 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 Who has the longest piece? Bandai guy. Have you ever made custom hardware components from scratch? Personally, no. What's a good way to keep your system clean out of dust? Um, you some big fan to blow everything out. So, some cases have filters for dust, so if you, if you use that, you're fine. How can I OC with a minimum input of risk? Just go up slowly. That's the only advice I can give okay. you on that. If you if you yeah. try to ramp it up too quickly, then you're increasing risk yeah. dramatically. Who's got the most keys on their keychain? I don't have a keychain actually. I have only two. Actually, two here as well. So there's no winner here. Yeah, sorry, I will not lean in again. Can you over, can you overclock an Intel not K processor as much as a K one? Uh, no. So K means that the CPU uh, ratio is is overclocked. Um, so, well, no, that's that's the uh, that's the end of it. No. He's leaning in again. I, I don't know why. I like to be closer to him. Would you ever recommend a commercial fan based cooler comparing to a water cooler? Um, if you go for a very high end um, fan based normal. Uh, oh, no cooler, budget, <laughs> then no. You have no budget. That's no budget. Um, what can you do with no budget? Well, if I don't have any budget, I cannot buy anything. Problem solved. So I will just use the Infobox cooler. Pizza? Pizza. Where did the pizza come from? Only for Team A, you do. <laughs> You're the man. <laughs> they just brought in a lot of pizza, so everyone's super excited. Nom 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 nom. Do you get a special seafood pizza or no? Actually, it's like a margarita pizza or something like that. I think. Pizza party, yes indeed! It's amazing how many people accurately see that this is pizza. You want some? Proof? Yeah, pizza. Why did you change the can? First. Um, how high is the risk of burning a component as a first time over here? As, as long as you don't raise the voltage to a very, very risky level, then you're fine. Correct. Dino is here at the moment. Mm. What's the best system you guys have OC? The best system in terms of performance or in terms of experience? Question wrong. What can fresh the pizza or the pizza box? I think it was the pizza box. They had like this 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 weirdly shaped box and then they tried to figure out what put it what to put in there. I'll come, it's square and they put something wrong inside. Because it's easier to take out, obviously. That babysit asks what kind of what's written on your T-shirt. I think you have to stand up again. Again? Okay. There is written, I'm not perfect, but I'm limited edition. I am a limited edition. I'm from the southern part near Stuttgart. What keyboard are they using on the big cameras? I think it's a keyboard from Kuno Master. Yeah, but I don't know the specific uh, skew. Oh, we have one right here. They're all using the... Uh, oh, the Devastator. Who am the Devastator? Thanks, man. 
That the French guy is best at English. Strange. While I take offense to that. I think that's a lie. He's not talking shit, so that's not true. Can you not eat so? Wow, well, that's actually. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Is it you meet in Taipei right now? Yes, a lot. It's been running for the past four days. One more? How old are you all? Well, I am 25. I think Roman is 25 as well. And, And I'm 26. <laughs> Can you overclock a pizza, please? No, you just eat pizzas. I think it's just a regular margarita pizza. <laughs> What happens if you replace your CPU with pepperoni? Can you overclock it still? No, you cannot. No. <laughs> This chat is so fast, no one will ever know that my penis is only six centimeters. I read it for you, so everybody knows. I think you did not think that true. Huh? I think you did not think that true. Does overclocking degrade the life of a CPU? If so, by how much? Well, it's quite difficult to correctly estimate how, how much... Um, how much you reduce the lifespan of your CPU, but think about this. If your CPU can live for 20 years and overclocking reduces it by five years, it can still live for 15 years, right? So, What clock speeds have they achieved? Well, they hit uh, 6.2 on an Ivy Bridge E4960X. Uh, I think I did not think that through when I read it. That's exactly what I was trying to point out. Oh shit. Dude, you got me there. What are the, spe the specs of the build that you are working on? Uh, the guys, the four-way guys are running uh, Ivy Bridge E 4960X, four GTX 780 Ti's and an, uh, an Asus Rampage 4 Black Edition. How often do you stream? I find this so to be so much fun. We try to stream as much as possible. You guys are on the front page of Twitch. That's amazing. Fist bump. What happened? We are on the front page of Twitch. Again? Sweet. Thank you, the guys at Twitch. Yeah, I'm eating pizza. What are your personal PC builds? Well, we did answer that, uh, that question like a few hours ago. Uh, I personally use a notebook 24-7. Yeah. What are you using? <laughs> um, uh, i7 3770K engineering sample because I cannot sell it. Some random motherboard and I think a 8400GS graphics card with it, which is very I want a pizza, George from the jungle. And you, Peter? What's your daily week? I have a notebook as well because I found that every every single PC systems that I build, I would overclock and break as well. So a notebook is a little bit safer. Are you Tom Cruise? No, I'm not. Sorry. Liar. You have been on the front page for at least three hours. <laughs> awesome. Nom 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 indeed, Swiney69. Nine. Corman 2008, it's very good. <laughs> Do you all believe the enthusiast CPU market development is stagnant because AMD is not pushing Intel in performance? Uh, I suppose that Intel, uh, sorry, that AMD could push Intel a, a little bit more, but um, in general, we see the enthusiast CPUs go up in um, in uh, in sales. Do you even live, bros? Yes, we do. Um, who speaks the most languages? I can speak French, English, German, French only a little bit. I can speak English, 
French. French and French Canadian. That doesn't count as a language. So I have, I have uh, uh, German, English, French, Dutch. I think that that is for some word of Chinese, and that's it. Yes, and I can understand. I can read Spanish as well, but that's not a language that I can yeah, count. I'm, I'm trying to learn Portuguese, but it's not working. You are so awesome. What is happening with the blowtorches? They're trying to heat up the hardware components again because they're too cold. How far can I push my i7 to 2600K with Corsair H55 for liquid cooling? 4.5 to 4.6 gigahertz. Tabarnak. <laughs> can the Romans say no soup for you? Really love Is that a trap? <laughs> I don't get it. Can you dip pizza in liquid nitrogen, then drop it? Yes, you can, but it's not recommended. What clock speeds do you think are good for an i7 4750K with an H100i? Uh, four, everything up, up uh, 4.6 and higher is good. Do you speak Portuguese? Eu não falo Portuguese. WTF is going on. That's exactly the same question I'm asking myself. Oh, the in the room, it looks like Bob Marley's house. <laughs> DT George is actually very... Uh, you're, actually, you're actually spot on. That is exactly how it goes. We use nitrogen to cool it down, then the blowtorch to heat it up again, and then immediately cool it down with nitrogen again. Can you explain what they do with the liquid nitrogen and how it cools? The way it cools is because it's vaporizing. Um, it boils at minus 196, and because it's vaporizing, it's taking away the heat. Is your overclocking number one in all of Kazakhstan? Uh, I don't get it. So at the end of Who is number one in the next guy? Yeah. Is this right guy German? His accent? Hmm. Yes, he is German. Oh, damn it. They got me again. <laughs> what is the point of all this? Do you mean this specifically overclocking or life in general? I can answer the first part but not the second part. What, what, what's the question? How cold is too cold and why? That's a good question. Oh, I was actually waiting for you to answer that one. I was actually thinking about how, well, for CPU, Choose. some CPUs stop working at maybe minus 120 degrees, so that could be too cold. Too cold is basically when your either, either your overclock is uh, stop scaling or your uh, your components stop working. Then you heat it up again, and then it works. What is the ambient room temperature? I think it's like 24. 20. Well, the AC is set to what 23. What is the meaning of life? Please answer us. Good 42. <laughs> that was simple. <laughs> <laughs> Which has more raw processing power, CPU or GPU? Definitely a GPU because of the flo floating point operation. What's the goal? Uh, they are trying to break the overall world record in 3D Mark Fire Strike Extreme. Currently they have the second score, the second best score in the world ever achieved, and they're trying again to actually break that record. What is the need for all of these cords and blow torches and well the blow torches is to heat up the hardware when it when it becomes too cold is it possible to fry an egg on a working computer um, actually it is possible to fry an egg if you have four GTX 480 graphics card there is a there's a couple of vid videos on YouTube uh, showing that do all of the three like pizza yes yes I, I think so yes what do you think of the new Titan G Titan Z GPU? Way too expensive. Uh, 
So let's make a quick summary but for all the people that just joined. Uh, basically, we are here at the HWBot OC anniversary event. So it's been 10 years that HWBot exists and HWBot is the ranking, uh, the website for the league and the ranking for all the, the benchmark we use. And today there is a uh, few replicas here that are trying to get the world record and the best course out of the, of the benchmark they have. And this is Massman from Mr. Bilibot and I'm Truth Man from Overfitting TV. Nice introduction. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Uh, you just started, you should get where is Roman? Is he taking a star, star, star? I think he's getting another bottle of Coke Zero. Is overclocking a GPU more riskier than the CPU overclocking? Is it really recommended? I don't think it's more riskier. It's just a different, different way of overclocking, different approach. What is that yellow bottle that the guy in blue T-shirt is holding? Uh, that's the blowtorch. Oh, okay, yes. That's a gas, uh, gas bottle. They just got a new score and they're only 250 points off the world record. How are you finding Taipei? Well, I used the, I used the map to find it. <laughs> Google Maps? <laughs> There is some hair in your. Maybe we should get rid of that. For some more. <laughs> on a normal setup with liquid cooling, how long does it last before you have having to refill or replace the cooling? Like if you if you have to refill, there is a leak somewhere. World records usually occur in one of these events for record to be official. Uh, no, there is different ways of validating a world record in 3D Mark. So you usually make a you make a screenshot and you have a data file containing all this system information. How does the point scaling system work? Well, it's a very intricate algorithm, but it basically uh, measures how much frames per second your the system is rendering and then uh, turns that into an overall score. Are you guys interested in E3? Well, not really. I don't really E3? follow. It's a gaming e uh, show. Yeah. The game uh, game conference. Yeah, or gaming convention. Yeah. Are German OCRs top of the world? Not yes. not right now. No, I would not say <laughs> so. No, no. <laughs> actually, not now. Is liquid helium really expensive? Are they allowed to use it in competition? Uh, yes, it is very expensive. And usually uh, people do not use liquid helium because it's too cold. Most of the hardware components can only run at maybe one, minus 180 degrees centigrade. And liquid helium will take your, uh, will, will take your temperature to uh, minus 269 degrees centigrade. So too cold, cannot use it. Man in the middle, I like your shirt, 450 points. Awesome. Oh, hi. You should never drink it. Do not drink liquid nitrogen. If you do, you're an idiot. If Germany had combined their government, we're not answering uh, political questions here. <laughs> if Germany would have well, would had to combine that would that, I'm not sure if that would actually work that would be weird do you like burritos yep what's the average lifespan of your professional overclocked CPUs well usually we don't even kill those CPUs they can just live on in normal systems afterwards no kill moves is not a challenge do not drink liquid nitrogen do not be an idiot you can also jump from a bridge if you drink it. The result is the same. Can Iron Man drink liquid helium? Be yeah, well, Iron Man is a fictional character, and the fictional characters can do anything they want. There's a lot of question about what is this? Why are they pouring steam, um, steam, steam liquid or steam stuff? It's liquid nitrogen. It's used to cool down the computer to minus 96 degrees. What does the term cherry mean in the world of overclocking? Cherry basically means that you have an incredibly good part, uh, a part that can overclock higher than 
most of the other parts. And what is in the silver containers? Thermals. Yep. Yeah. They are thermal flasks. You can also put coffee in there to keep it warm. <laughs> I was thinking to buy a used CP on eBay. Is that a good? Is this a good idea? Sure, why not? Why is this event held in Taipei? Well, last week we had Computex, uh, which is an IT uh, IT trade show, and all of the overclockers had to work at the uh, at the trade show. So we're just having an after event. So they're just cooling it down, and that is overclocking. No. Dude on the right, I like your style, 15 points. That would be you. Thanks, man. That is a disgusting question, Sorajin. What are they pouring the nitrogen into? Well, they're pu pouring it into um, well, let me get copper. A well, hold on, Roman, oh, Roman is going to bring something to show you. Oh, you have to grab the glass mount from the next uh, table. Uh, Computex is not really a nerd convention. It's more of a. It's an IT trade show where all all kinds of businesses show their new products. I often see news about Brazilians breaking overclocking records. They're famous in this scenario. Um, there is a couple of very good Brazilian overclockers. Uh, for example, Ronaldo Boasali is, is, is extremely good at, at overclocking. He's, he's been breaking records for a while now. How long does this process take? It takes as long as you need to break that record. Thank you very much, Winey69. Why so much nitro? Well, basically because the components are generating a lot of heat. How much nitro do they have? Well, for this weekend, for about 60 hours of, uh, of overclocking gathering, we have about 2,000 liters of liquid nitrogen. Let's go quickly on the container. Um, that is the CPU cooler we are using. Um, you can pour the liquid nitrogen in there. You can see the structure a little bit. And that is the contact area for the CPU. And on the side, uh, the green thing is a, a thermal probe uh, to measure the temperature. And that's basically where you pour in the LN2. Amazing explanation. <laughs> So the overclockers are using these uh, CPU pods to, to cool down the CPU, so they put uh, liquid nitrogen inside to cool down all the components on the computer. Is it 6.1 or 6.2? Have a good night, fight boy, not so slim. Or actually, good day, because he's too strained, I think. So the main board, uh, the motherboard using the competition are modified or stuck. Uh, what new modification can be done to achieve best, best results? Mostly the main board, there is no need to make any modification anymore. But for the graphic cards, some of the guys use uh, these. So that's a regular graphic cards, but they have uh, some extra power fittings on it. So that's basically doing, you remove the power fit for the, for the main board and replace it by something else. So that's actually mostly used on the VGS rather than on the main board. What makes a good overclockers? Well, skills, patience, and patience. A lot of patience. Persistence. And friendship. Yeah. You need to be friendly with others. Yeah. Otherwise, that's an. You should never give up. No. That's, that's the biggest mistake if you give up. Easily. Well, most of overclocking is, is basically troubleshooting, right? Yeah. You just run into blue screens until you get a score. Please make cola ice. We'll try to do it later. What type of education do you guys have? I studied psychology, he studies micro, micro, -engineering. Yeah, micro engineering and 
Uh, the guy who just left studied virtualization. Well, Africa is a continent, so yes, they have. There are some in the Iran and Egypt as well, I know. South, South Africa. Africa, of course. Overclocking is living in the danger zone, eh, Tom Cruise? Yes, it is. But we love the danger zone. <laughs> Why do they run into blue screens? Well, we're, tra we're, we're basically trying to get this system at the very edge of stability. And when you're at the edge, you sometimes, you sometimes go over the edge. And that would be causing blue screens. Who is considered to be the best overclocker at the moment? Very difficult question, but a lot of the guys who are overclocking here are amongst the best overclockers in the world. <laughs> Megan Prime, do not put your hand in nitrogen. Please do not do that. Why is the guy using a blowtorch on the CPU? He's trying to heat up the CPU because it might get too cold and then uh, crash. There's Aaron as overclockers. Yes. Yeah, a lot of overclockers. Iran has a very active and very big overclocking community. Uh, there was a few questions. Are you guys allowed to use another electronic system to maintain the temperatures to pour automatically the uh, LN2 system in it. Actually, there is one team, the LC Iolix teams. They see that they had a box and a special liquid nitrogen uh, systems to, to refill, but that's the only team that did use that. It's, it's the much problem, easier to... The, the problem is actually that your uh, system has to be able to, um, to respond very quickly. So these guys are pouring a couple times per second to, to maintain the temperature and the mechanical system is not capable Designed of doing it yet. Do you do this the all the whole day or what? Actually, we have been doing that for the past four days. Yeah. Can you overclock on PCs? Yes, pretty much all the computers you can to a certain degree. How do you know that the four particular GPUs that you have there are cherries? Because they tested a lot of samples, and then those are these are the four best samples they have. What happens if nitrogen flows over the hardware? Well, nothing; it just evaporates. How do you how do they protect the board from any condensation? Well, you can use uh, you can use Vaseline, but you can also use paper towel. You can use um, what is it called? Armaflex. There is different ways of, uh, of insulating your motherboard and preventing from any condensation to damage the to damage the hardware. Question from Pozic, what their O now means? Uh, well, actually, it's because they are so close from the world record to break the vertical and fire strike extreme. Yeah, 100 points off, so. So maybe next one gonna be the. Yeah, 24,936 was the. the Neoprene score. gaskets, well, it, well done, yeah, that's correct. Why should anyone, anybody overclock his home PC? It's free performance. The question is, why would you not do it? Have you guys picked up chicks with your overclocking skills? Well, there are a couple of ladies that will actually <laughs> Let's find this interesting. <laughs> Let's not go deeper on that. <laughs> deeper, I see what you say. <laughs> Pun intended, question mark? <laughs> You cannot see all the PC, but you can't all see them like they cause the LN2 is very expensive for H24 OCing. Actually, well, you cannot yeah, use yeah. LN2 for H24. No. This stream is way better than normal gaming streams and surprisingly fun. Thanks, man. Also awesome. funny as well. Can you guys overclock my PC? I'll pay you in McDonald's. I don't really eat that much McDonald's. Or can you use Peltiers to cool down the computers? Uh, well, you can, but it's not as efficient as uh, good water cooling or liquid nitrogen. Yeah. Okay. Why do cherries exist? Do manufacturers have a lot of uncertainty in making components? Uh, I, I suppose Roman can actually answer this question Which better. Which question? Why do, why do cherry hardware, uh, why does it exist? So why do you have a variance in, uh, in, in, your, uh, in your hardware? Component? Well, basically, um, see, um, see if you manufacturers are doing um, batch manufacturing, that means they're producing 
um, for example, 100 wafers of the CPU with the same process. Uh, process. So the same uh, thickness of the copper layer, uh, same temperature um, process of the of the doting of the of the wafers, and the, um, the quality will rise from batch to batch. And if you Sometimes uh, one batch is able to overclock higher, and some batches is, are worse. So, yeah, it depends on the on the production quality. We just have to find the the best batch. That's what we're doing. And do you, uh, even between the batches, there's a bit a big variety. There, there's a question. Um, I can only see three thermometers for four GPUs, or is there one just off camera? No, they're using one for the CPU, and then they use uh, two for uh, two GPUs. So there's two temperatures displayed on each of those thermometers. Will deleting my IV at 1.3 V-core Celsius help? Probably around 15 degrees, usually 10 to 15 degrees. So it will help, yes. But you will not gain any performance from that. What is the highest gigahertz you guys have kept at a consistent level? Well, I had a CPU that could run 8 gigahertz through benchmarks. Well, I have the AMD one, which yeah. is uh, 8 gigahertz, 32M, so yeah, 8 gigahertz on AMD CP uh, CPUs. But there is no power, actually. No performance at all. Can you recommend me a web page or guide for overclocking Intel i7-930 and motherboard Asus P6TSE? Google. Where are you guys from? A mix between France and uh, Canada. I'm French, but I live in Canada. Uh, Belgium, living in Taipei. German, living in Germany. What is the margin between Cherry hardware and not Cherry? What is the percentage differences? It can be up to 10%, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I been personally, I been uh, 30 Haskell CPUs and they were all shit, so yeah. Is it worth overclocking laptops? Usually not, because they're running at the uh, at the edge of the thermal uh, specs. They're actually not overclocking the 4770K, but the i7-4960X. <laughs> German living in Germany, that's not as interesting. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, the 10% temp the temp might be surprising. Um, do note though that uh, this this community and specifically goes through a lot of CPUs. I mean, I think amongst all extreme overclockers, we probably go through a couple thousand CPUs to find all like those ten percent good. Uh, those, oh no, those ten good ones. Uh, I do not think so. Caruso nine hundred and sixty four. Any accident happen? It happened. It's unforgettable. Uh, <laughs> Belgium A, greetings from the homeland. <laughs> Representing. Uh, which thermal gradient are you talking about to make the system more efficiently? I don't get it. And the Canadian girls need Ellen too because they're very hot. Oh man. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> They just got the record. The record. Is there an official chart on the internet with the best overclockers in the world? Yes, hwbot.org. <laughs> Twenty five thousand three hundred and thirty points. Twenty five thousand three hundred and thirty points is a new record. And they used my cooling gear. I'm so happy. Seriously? Yeah, that's good. That feels good. Come on. 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 Come on.
Um, the record that you set was oh yeah, 25.330 and before it was 25.0 Hey Nordling, how are you? Long time no see. Of course I remember you from HIT 2008 St. Peter, St. Petersburg's rocks Yeah, they will continue actually Apex said no 26k, no go home Yep, they're continuing going higher <laughs> Keep pushing it Keep pushing, keep pushing Man, that fan. <laughs> huh? The fan. What does that mean? 25. It means that it's the highest score ever achieved on this planet. So actually, that's the biggest performance you can get from any computer. This is officially, buy. yeah. This is officially the most highest performance PC system in the world. Right Run, right. Running right there. Yeah. Well, right there on the, the stream, I suppose. Yeah. The, The one on the big screen you can the screen you can see. The liquid nitrogen is not that expensive here in Taiwan. We paid about uh, let me think about six hundred US dollars for two thousand liters. Actually, it's not not expensive in general. In Germany, which is probably one of the more, more expensive countries, I'm paying one euro fifty, including delivery per liter. How much is that system worth? That's a good. Actually, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand euros. Euros. Well, it's one uh, thousand for the CPU, three hundred for the board. Um, about 700 for each of the GPUs. Yeah, 700 per GPU and about another 1,500 for the cooling stuff. Without the liquid nitrogen. Yeah, makes it a difference if you overclock the RAM memory. Yes, it does. The problem is also this CPU, uh, this this system, sorry, is built on components that are the best of a of a. a, a, a wider or a larger amount of so you, you need to go through a, a lot of hardware before you can find specifically these uh, components is this a team effort or APEC did just uh, record himself this is a team effort there were actually about four guys working on, on that system for a long time so yeah it's a team score why not a four-way Titan C SLI? Well, you can only combine up to four GPUs, so there's no no way why you would co or doesn't make sense why you would combine four Titan C cards, especially because they have a very shitty um, power layout and they're downclocked as well. Can we see what your shirt says? It's time for you to stand up again. It says, "I'm not perfect, but I'm a limited edition." Uh, there is actually windows open in this room, so it's not closed. Actually, you know that uh, about 75% of the ambient uh, gas is uh, nitrogen, so it doesn't matter if you increase that a little bit. Yep, that's a Raptor container. <laughs> What about Quad Titan Black? Um, the issue with Titan cards is that they are it, Nvidia does not allow custom layouts, and for such a result, you need a very, very good um, power uh, VRMs. You need good VRMs, and you don't have that on Titan Black. And also, memory does not help in the benchmark. So, yeah. What does the score refer to? Boot up time? Uh, no, it actually refers to the ability of a system to render a high, high detail or high quality uh, game situation. Guy on the right, what did they use from you for the record? Actually, they're using um, three Slim containers, um, the Raptor Slim and one uh, Raptor 3 Fat container. You can look that up on my website, therebauer.com, with an 8. Or you go on 8ecc.de. Eight, eight Core i7-4960X, Rampage 4 Black Edition, uh, 4 GTX 780Ti, Kingpin editions from EVJ. Those are the hardware uh, components. Is the score based off of an increase from the components based power or is it the highest processing power achieved? It's the highest processing power achieved. 
How do you feel about the ASU suite software that OCs automatically? Um, you should probably read some stuff on the OC guides and just do it yourself. It's much safer and you will probably achieve a higher clock with a lower voltage. How much would you say it costs from the start, from start to finish, finding the cherries, try cherries and so on? Well, um, 8 pack mentioned before they went through 100 CPUs to find two or three that could actually run this frequency. And these CPUs are 1,000 uh, US dollars a piece. And that would only be the, the uh, things on the, on the CPU side of, of the story. What do you guys think of DDR4? Will it, be, will it make much of a dif difference? Looking forward to the technology. Yeah, yeah. If Fire Strike was in 4K, would the increased frame buffer from Titan card be worth it? No, clearly a no. Because the GPUs are only running at 700 megahertz, and uh, if you buy T780 Ti's, which are even cheaper, um, you will have a higher performance. Who pays for all this? We and some companies. Yep. This event is sponsored by uh, Gigabyte, by G-Skill, Color Master, NMX, and Jellet. But then the hardware components are are actually provided by the by the hardware vendors. I think they're using a SUS uh, motherboard and an Intel CPU and then uh, EVJ graphics cards. A CPU frequency was a, a little bit above 60 GHz, I think. I cannot remember actually. Yeah. Are they overclocking the RAM too? Yes, they do. You have to because their uh, memory performance counts as CPU performance as well. How old are you? 25, 25, and 26. What are your education backgrounds and where did you study? So, psychology in Belgium. Computing science in France and Canada. And microengineering in Germany. What is the best memorable moment you have had in OCing a system? Well, I, I, I mentioned it in this uh, in this stream already, but I, uh, I was part of a, of a group that hit 7 gigahertz on the very first AMD Phantom 2 CPUs and we used liquid helium to achieve that and that was uh, that was pretty cool. Actually for me that was the uh, 8 gigahertz in the uh, AMD FX P8350 or something. Can you actually take the system and use it though at this pace? No, you cannot use it 24-7 uh, but uh, you can, uh, af after this session, you can just uh, mount back the coolers on the system and use it as a, as a normal system. Best of you from the screen. Are you asking to fix the main camera? Well, no, that's actually how it looks for, uh, or uh, what it looks like for the for the guys overclocking the system. I think it's more interesting for them to see the better. Oh, I can, I can put in the small face. Yeah, that should be better. Can we get a better angle on that monitor? I like to see what's going on. I think it's very difficult because they need the space in front. We cannot place a the camera there. That's about the best we can do. Maybe I can try um, For to test the CPU, you just um, set the same frequency, like 4.5 gigahertz, and then you compare the voltages you need for the CPU. And then you just compare. Uh, when they're blowtorching, it means um, they're running too cold and they just have to heat up the coolers. Can I have the shirt you're wearing? I think this was idea. I need my shirt. People don't like to see me naked for some reason. I tried it before and I was uh, kicked out of the venue. What if you prefer apples instead of cherries? Well... Just answer the question. The highest performing CPU, does it go up for sale? What do you guys do with it? Um, well, actually, if you have the highest clocking CPU, you probably, uh, if you sell it, you're gonna earn a lot of money uh, of it. This CPU, this particular, uh, particular CPU, uh, cost 1,000 US dollars in retail. If you have the best overclocking CPU, you would probably be able to sell it for 5,000 US dollars. Is this your job or just a hobby? Well, well, the guy in the middle gets paid for it, and for us, it's a hobby. I mean, you get some money because you're making some kind of hardware. Yeah, well, I'm 
kind of making some money with it. I'm trying to get into a better business. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sarules, uh, you were saying, saying that oh, why do we need to overclock? Because in the next future, in the next years, that performance is going to be available for anyone. Well, that's going to be in the next few years. That's not right now. So that's why you you overclock. You overclock because you like the challenge and you like figuring out what is the highest possible performance you can get from any from any computer system. How are they adjusting the overclock limit without restarting the system? You can use some software like um, Asus Turbo V Core. That's what they use for the CPU and Asus GPU Tweak for the GPUs. How long have you guys known each other? A long time, actually. A couple of years, yeah. Who? Online for ages? I don't know, like years. For a while, yeah. Years. I think the first time I met you was on um, AOC, uh, AOCM in uh, 2007 or 2008, something like that. So something like seven years, I think. Have you guys messed up around with overclocking consoles like PS3 or 360? Uh, not with the consoles, but with the um, ARM devices, like the Android and the Raspberry Pi. Ra Raspberry Pi, yes. I want the eight pixels. The psychology translate translate well with computer hardware overclocking. No, but it helped me deal with this community. <laughs> <laughs> so much drama. <laughs> Our favorite game of choice is a 3D Mark or Super Pi. <laughs> Any benchmark, basically. Can your overclocked system broke afterwards, even if you worked stable for a while? Yes. Yeah, sure. Even your stable system can break after a while. For all the guys watching, don't forget to subscribe to the Twitch channel so you get the, the reminder every time we go on live. And check hwbot.org. And check uh, the Twitter of HWBot, at HWBot. Maybe you can just post the link to hwbot.org in the chat. Have you ever overclocked a Raspberry Pi with liquid nitrogen? Not personally, but yes, we have community members that have tried it. Can you explain load line calibration? Not not on a not on a Twitch stream. That would yeah. take a little bit too much yeah. time. Do you use Android phones and have you overclocked them? Yes, I've overclocked my Galaxy S1 to 1.6 gigahertz. Windows phones are much cooler though. <laughs> Everybody, Get out. everybody will hate me now. Do you guys ever use set up any liquid chillers or cascade direct die kind of stuff at home for world record attempts? Yeah, yes. you can use your cascade for a, for a, for testing, but liquid nitrogen allows you to control the temperature much more accurately. There is still again this, this question about the, the why we use liquid nitrogen and not liquid helium. Uh, well, for one liter of liquid nitrogen, you could. You can remove more heat than one liter of liquid helium and it's less expensive. Yeah, also liquid helium doesn't, it's not that easy to control the temperature. A lot of these uh, hardware components need to run between, like for example, between 100, minus 160 and minus 165. So you need to make it, make, you need to be able to pour very accurately. You, uh -huh. <laughs> Guy on the right, you still have 15 points in my book. I hope you're a girl. I want a cute boy take off the shirt. Which one are you referring to? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite CPU to overclock and your best memory? Well, I do like the AMD CPU overclocking because it's so easy. My very first, my very first CPU was an Athlon XP uh, twenty six hundred plus, and I still, I still want to overclock that platform again. I don't remember. I had like a, I had the seventeen hundred plus uh, Athlon on the GH three GB. The special one. The thoroughbred B. Uh, question from HCO69, how do you determine if a CPU is a cherry? What, do, what test do you run that shows one is better than another? Um, basically, you just have to focus on the same frequency and test the voltage that the CPU needs. So for example, 4.5 GHz and just test uh, the voltages and compare it. The lower the voltage you need, the better. Yeah, 
uh, is there a point where overclocking stops increasing performance? Yeah, there is a point where the performance increase is not um, is not significant anymore, but the guys here are pushing for every single point. So even if it takes 100 megahertz to ha to get one more point, these guys would hunt would hunt for that one point. Um, when picking RAM, what more important the speed? Frequency or the cast latency. Um, in general, you should more focus on the frequency than on the on, on the uh, latency. Where is SF3D? He actually is on his way home. Yeah. Not in Taiwan anymore. What exactly happened after they restart the computer? What game do they open? We don't open games, we open benchmarks. Uh, that is a piece of software that do a calculation and that give out the scores. And the best scores you get, uh, yeah, you win. I feel like a moment. <laughs> I've been talking for ages. <laughs> you want? You guys want to stop and do something else? You can take a break and come back. That's fine. Let's continue. It's all fun. The pink. Give me some cookies, though. How many times did we get asked the same question, right? <laughs> <laughs> Too many parts, man. Have you ever tried the automatic no, like system? No. Nope. Everyone like, asks that question. Like, 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 like some kind of open system? Yeah. 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 Do the Who guy in shorts have a boner? Who is in shorts? Who is in shorts? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, do you have a boner? Well, <laughs> 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 yeah. That's what I just think. He just his pants when he hit the world record. We have a lot of questions about what is the best um, CPU GPU combination in the market right now. It really depends on what kind of the of load you. If it's HTPC, you don't need to have an extra GPU. You can have the the I GPU to to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Where is all that liquid nitrogen going, evaporating? Yes, and actually there is nitrogen about like 73 or 75% in the air now, so... Like even if you breathe, breathe something at home, it's gonna be like 73 or 75% of nitrogen. Hey Norling, when, when you, if, let us know when you want to stop by in Taiwan. There's a whole bunch of overclockers living in Taiwan right now. Can you explain the difference in GPU and APU? Well, GPU is dedicated to graphics and APU is more like a CPU and a GPU on the same package. Does the HDD and SSD use the matter in this kind of overclocking? Yeah. Yes, at some point. Yeah. But we we all use SSDs now because that's the that's easier to transport and have the stuff. Around. Have you ever had so much nitrogen in the air that someone passed out? No. So far as I know, no. No, but I've had a situation where I, I could not light my blowtorch anymore because there was not enough oxygen in the room. Holy crap! Yeah, that's why you need to open a window. That's why you should uh, light a, a candle. Yeah, true. <laughs> no comment on that, Shabro. <laughs> Hit me. Can use mine as well. Can use yours. Because yeah. yours is still hair. Why are you being sneaky eating cookies? Because I love cookies. Robin is next. What? So we said earlier that the GPUs are uh, have more performances than the than the CPUs. It's just a matter of design because the GPUs have uh, actually like a lot of parallels 
uh, things that they can uh, then calculate. What? Why are you just drinking from my cup? Actually, that was your cup, man. No, no, I took a hair out of this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is definitely <laughs> mine. We're sharing a cup together. Two guys, one cup. <laughs> 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 what made you decide to live in Taiwan? <laughs> Work! <laughs> Work! <laughs> I'm closer to all of the hardware. <laughs> no homo, no homo. Putting Ellen two on the cookies. Sure, give me. Yes, we can. That's nothing inside, I guess. So. <laughs> actually, we're drinking Diet Coke, Coke Zero. Do you guys speak Taiwanese? Taiwanese is actually Chinese, so no. <gasps> actually, there is a difference between Taiwanese and Chinese. I know, but it's still called Chinese. It's a different Chinese. Is Mandarin the, the Chinese, Taiwanese, the Taiwanese, Chinese? I thought we were now going to comment on political issues. That's not a political issue, that's a language issue. Um, yeah, we're, we're close with, with, us, with us rock as well, and sometimes we do go in the office and, uh, and help them test their stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's for you. Sorry, what? Which one is for me? Sharon 1506. Contact me, beautiful guy, delicious. <laughs> Who is delicious, Sharon? Chinese is not a language. How yeah, I mean, I, I think Twitch is gonna is gonna be very very hard on you on this one. I, I was. Huh? You should shy away from this topic. From which topic? You know, the Taiwanese Chinese thing. Okay, we're we're going back to not discussing any political stuff. Or languages, for that matter. Two times four gigabyte sticks would normally be more stable or more easy to overclock. Yes, you should use Prime 95, but not before overclocking. You should use it to test your overclocking. Um, he torches the, the pot if it's running. Hey, 8 pack, can you flex your muscles again, please? <laughs> no, move closer, move closer to the camera, though. Move closer to the camera. <laughs> you cannot see it in the camera. Receding hairline tried to do it as well. <laughs> um, Ice, why would we have problems with voltage? Please um, specify. All Asian people are Chinese can find Roman. I did never say that. Ooh. And again, we are not discussing any political stuff. But I did not mean to offend anybody. The top score is still 25,330 uh, points. They're trying to warm up the system and have it like a, have another shot at it. Hello to Canada from Taiwan. Looks like you're having a lot of fun. Yes, we have a lot of fun. We are having a lot of fun. 8-Pack actually works for a store, so he's not um, vendor... How do you say that? Type 8-Pack doesn't vendor. work for EVJ. He works for Overclock. Dot. He just uses whatever is best. Is beer a decent heat sink? No, but it does help with overclocking. <laughs> so. Guys, did you test Maxwell? Personally, yes, I did. And the cards are very, very good for overclocking. Wait for it. Hey man, good. Thanks. You? I thought we were not doing that on the live. Are we not allowed to? Can you give away the system? But actually, you can give me a little bit as well. So we are doing the drinking thing again? So we are doing the drinking thing. Ah. We're not drinking it though, we are... 
Don't try this at home. I'm it's not dangerous. swallowing it. That's the big difference. No swallowing, just spitting it out. No swallowing. <laughs> I, is that allowed by Twitch? Actually? No, I don't think so. No. Yeah, so we should stop it. Now. No, don't do that actually. Because you you should he never started. try to do that. Never, never do that at home. That. Never, never, never ever. That channel is already banned, dude. Which channel? Welcome Don't to try to, to get LNT. <laughs> Don't try to use this at home. Uh, if you Definitely try these cookies at home, though. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. The German, the German does not know his country's language. What a surprise. That doesn't make sense whatsoever. Um, Yeah, you should never swallow LN2. It will kill you. Don't ever do that. Never. <laughs> yeah, they got the um, Fire Strike Extreme 4-way SLI world record with 25,300 uh, points. Cookies or pizza, what's better? KGO. I don't know. Um, Buckeye, that, uh, that story was, uh, was not entirely correct. Yeah, but, yeah. Is it possible to swallow a tiny drop? The of middle course, cute boy no. gotta show their muscle. The middle boy, who's that? Is that 8 pack? Probably. 8 pack, can Eight. you flex again? But you please? have to go close to the camera. Man, they love you. Can you rephrase that? Not flash. Yeah. Frozen cookies. Just went for another t shirt. Yeah. What, are you drink, gonna drink again? No, just, just for, for good looks. Why do you guys sound older than you actually are? We're just mature people, what can we say? <laughs> <laughs> that was not true. <laughs> do you guys watch Game of Thrones? Yes. yes. I just watched the first season. I, I don't have time to watch the new, the new next one. Game of Thrones is my absolute favorite series. So. Are Taiwanese not OC experts as you guys are in Taiwan right now doing this stuff? Well, there's overclocking experts from all around the world, not specifically. Taiwanese are not specifically better or worse than anyone, anyone others. Throw a frozen cookie at someone. <laughs> Request by Twitch TV. I don't know. These guys are just asking all kinds of weird stuff. Belgium guy, how do you manage to speak English so accent free? Years of training. Genetics. Moral of the story. Uh, keep pushing it. Keep pushing it, keep pushing. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw a motherboard, no. <laughs> Genetics. I mean, you can show one of the PCBs if you want. No, 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 don't, don't show it. It's, it's a piece of... It's a piece of collection. I'll donate a hundred dollars if you flip their table. Can you also uh, cover my hospital bill? Because 8-pack would pound me. No, pound me is the wrong word. He would punch me. Yeah, punch. No, he punch would smash the you. He would smash you. <laughs> punch is the right verb. And he would probably say, I will wreck your head, mate. <laughs> Keep pushing LOL, that's what she said. Can you throw the motherboard like a frisbee? We can, but we don't. Yeah. Pound you no hole. <laughs> So hilarious, really. That was the wrong verb. That was not. Yeah, that was not good. <laughs> 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 
do you like do you guys like the MRT subway system in Taipei? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Very clean. Extremely efficient and clean. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Thanks for that, C dweller. C W dweller. <laughs> Tom Cruise was. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise wants to get pounded. Is the Intel 2011 socket something to continue to be enthusiast socket for a good time to come? Yes, Haswell E will be the third variation of the Intel LGA 2011 socket. Well, you cannot use the new mainboard with the old CPUs or the new CPUs and the old mainboard either. No. So. But it is, it is the same socket. Does the German guy have an attention deficit disorder? Burn! Tempo of the CPU, I think why, about why minus I, 160. Why would I have that? Don't don't question yourself. I'm getting enough attention. Okay. Belgium guy, short background story how you got in Taiwan sounds like a cool anecdote. I moved here for work basically. There's a lot more hardware components here than in Belgium and I like the I like the country, so why not? The CPU, there is a question about what temp is running the CPU. It's like minus 120. Okay, minus 120. Personal highest overclock, above 8 gigahertz. I can't really remember accurately. Favorite food in Taiwan? Good question. Dumplings? Yeah. Stinky tofu? Oh. No, I don't like that. Actually, I had some fried chicken, which was amazing. So. Electricity bills, do you hate them? Yes, especially if they show up in my post box. <laughs> See, German guy, why, why can't you be cool as the Belgian dude? <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, burn. Burn, burn! Burn part two. Actually, Belgium is not a, uh, not a language, so no, I cannot speak Belgian. <laughs> Cosmic Forge is funny. Does 8-pack have an 8-pack? No, or you had? I actually like the German guy. Thanks, man. <laughs> not, not only hate today. I think the German guy is cooler than the Belgian guy. Oh my god. I feel so hurt. No, I never we never overclocked SSDs, but I think it's possible with some Intel SSDs. Yep. Can I ask you questions in German? Yeah you can. But you should if possible stick to English so others can read it as well. <laughs> Little Silvo, that is not cool. That is not. It's funny but not cool. Who would have guessed? Funny but not cool. <laughs> Burning the German guy. Who would have guessed to hear that one day? Not cool. Belgian guy. Who do you work for? I work for hwbot.org. What is the TDP? Thermal design power. Something like that. It's Looks a maximum power consumption. <laughs> Looks like you have some really like admirers. His phone number is plus eight eight something. Slap your partner. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Not cool. Huh? Not oh, cool? Not a cool joke. You didn't like it? <laughs> was your family supportive in your work, hobby, Belgium and German guy? Uh, they didn't really understand what I was doing, so... Yeah, I suppose so.
<laughs> Do you speak Dutch or French? My my native language is Dutch. Yeah, slap a motherboard into his face. Come on, guys, violence is never the answer. Why are they picking up? Are they leaving? Actually, uh, I think the system went to a point when there is too much ice and stuff gets unstable, so they stop for a moment. <laughs> Have you ever ran out of nitrogen in the middle of overclocking? Yes, several times. Belgium is not a language, it's a waffle however. Uh, excuse me, delicious waffle? <laughs> <laughs> Predictions on the World Cup, go Belgium! Yeah, they, they did not uh, reach a score again, so 25, uh, 300 something is still the record. Do you ever get tired of answering Twitch questions? Not no. really, actually, it's pretty funny. Yeah. I never had so much fun with, before without Luke. <laughs> You should have your names on screen. Not sure if that would be a good thing. No, I, I think I'd rather remain anonymous. Yeah. The torches are uh, for heating up the components. Can you fix camera one at monitor? I don't think China is actually competing in the World Cup. Um, actually, um, uh, Frederick, the owner of HW, code for it. Hey Massman, did you code hw.org or did you pay someone? No, I just I just answered that question. Pay attention. Oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> Who's that guy sitting behind the door? <laughs> Where is he guy? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> You just challenged internet detective to find out your names. I don't think it's that difficult. Our names are usually yeah, they are yeah. plastered all over the internet. How much did you pay for all that nitrogen? We paid about 700 US dollars for 2,000 liters. Best OS other than DOS, Windows 7. Oh shit. Pow! That was quick actually, I'm impressed. Yeah, so you found the name of that guy. You, you two should stream more often, you're quite entertaining even just by talking to chat. Thanks. Thanks. I, I like it when the internet loves me. Doesn't happen often though. <laughs> if this, if the German guy would have slapped Apex, Apex would have overclocked his face. Question, why are you guys gay? We're not, not. Sorry, we're not. Not interested. Sorry to disappoint you, man. Annual income? I'm a student. I don't get shit. So. Let's go bowling? Sure, I like bowling. <laughs> actually... That is completely off, Stuart. Stuart. Stuart, actually, Roman is me and I'm the German. So you completely got that wrong. That, that actually, our, our monitor just shut off. Can you move the mouse? Oh, there we go. Where did you buy that shirt? I am not perfect, I am limited edition. I think I bought it on a trip in Thailand somewhere.
<laughs> oh, little Silvio. Oh man. <laughs> you can play o blame overclocking TV, it's their fault. It's gone boys. We just have an American joining our uh, our our chat here as well. Hey. Sorry, Roman, you can't move up on the cool letter. Thanks, man. How many people we got? I don't know how many. It was showing on this thing, but I, I don't know how to get back to it. Yeah, they love you, man. America. America. <laughs> America. It's only 2 a.m. where I'm from. <laughs> Representing the flag. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. The, I was just waiting for that comment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The new guy is called Dennis and he works for Hardware Asylum. Yeah. That little flame guy in what the, the hell corner is on, that? The, on the live stream is my logo. Can you, can you click on that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you got me there, man. Argentina, 6 a.m. Yeah, getting close. I wonder. Will Ferrell, how how are you doing? How am I doing? Will Ferrell. <laughs> oh yeah. Frizz, humidity. Will Ferrell. Where does Danny, Dennis look so manly? Are you his boy lover? Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, Danny, yeah. This is the end. Yeah. Pretty much the end, though, yeah. We have a couple of guys here from, uh, from Australia. Hey German guy, can you slap the American guy too? No. <laughs> Will you guys be back tomorrow? No. Nah, this was the last day, sorry. Guys, do you hold the world record now? Yes, APEC does. You should maybe go on hwbot.org and check the profile of APEC. He will probably upload it soon. OMG, look at these nerds. Yeah, look at us. Oh. There must be some, some nerd who's typing that into the Twitch chat. What are you guys going to eat for dinner tonight? I have no idea. <laughs> so the question's been like that all day? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's normal Twitch chat for you. It's entertaining. I yeah, think it is. the three of you guys will get in a fight. The American guy will beat all of you. Why would I do that? Well, I am the tallest. Yeah. But are you the strongest? Uh, are you mentally the strongest? I'm a great biter. Happy birthday to you. Uh oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Logan. Happy birthday to you. I don't know what to say actually. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> Sweet and fun. Thanks, man. Yeah. Now Did fucking share this cake. cake. Share this cake. Yeah. Do we have a knife? <laughs> oh shit. Did not see it? Yeah. No, of course. Really? Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> I don't know how to fix this shit. <laughs> Embarrassing in front of thousands of people. <laughs> <laughs> we now know your name, your date of birth. <laughs> Only step away from your bank account. <laughs> 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 
Oh man, oh, man. guys, you're fucking hilarious. Seriously. Actually, I got 25, not 26. Yeah. And it was a few days ago, but nobody's counting. Oh, so awesome. amazing. Mm. You want this one heart? Well, yeah. Take with the processor, yeah? You can do that. <coughs> Have you ever have you guys ever celebrated a birth date on Twitch TV? If not, did you hire strippers? Strippers where? On Twitch. I don't really Cut the cake with the motherboard. <laughs> Yeah, sure. It's pretty awesome. All these guys there. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the kick is a lie. <laughs> well, it's off camera, so yes, it's a lie. You too? No, I'm good. Uh, yeah, sure. I bought it, so I will try. Guy on the left, how long have you been overclocking? That would be you. That would be me. Yeah. Um, I have his cell phone, let's take a I'm going to say since late 99, I've been overclocking in various degrees. Keep the creek away from the American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get taller. Super <laughs> <laughs> so riot. <laughs> Freeze the German guy and break his leg. That is a little bit aggressive. <laughs> and it's break, not break. With an E, by the way. <laughs> Freeze the German guy and break his legs. <laughs> <laughs> you lost 400 years by celebrating his birthday. <laughs> Where are the girls? Um, over there. Yeah. That's actually a good cake. I don't understand the pineapple though. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, of course, man. Actually, we hired some male strippers for Roman. <laughs> They're coming later. Grammar <laughs> Nazi very. <laughs> <laughs> Only when someone says break room or spells break room. You can't overclock girls, it takes uh, diamonds and gold. Let's do those things now. Digging for gold. You want to sit back? How much do Romans their power go for? For a piece. Looks like a uh, the memory pot is about 150 euros. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're judging you, Dennis. They are. They are. Apparently, you can, you can only, only talk in Europe. As I quote, shitty native language. Mm, yes. I can try to do the French accent. Oh yeah, I guess I could, huh? I'm not going to because, you know, reasons. Dennis the Menace. If you only knew. Actually, the American guy is a very good friend of ours. <laughs> did I just declare friendship over the internet? <laughs> you did. What an emotional moment. Uh, so much fun. So has anyone asked any questions about the overclocking on the live? Yeah, sure. Like legitimate questions? Yeah. Other than why are they using paper towels? Okay, in that regard. Well, they asked for um, what the blow to tortoise were for. Oh, yeah. Gave it to us for That's a legitimate question. I think light up the candles with the blow torch. On camera? No, well, it's recorded and it was not live. Oh, okay. So I'll make it to YouTube. Dennis Garcia, they already have your name. <laughs> yes, they do have my name. How did you find my name? 
You're in deep shit, man. Yeah, I know. I'm in trouble now. I'm like famous or something. <laughs> something? Something. Yeah. We miss him. Vote kick dude on the left. Get German back. Get German guy back. <laughs> he's, uh, he's actually enjoying some cake. Your public is asking you. <laughs> Your public is asking you. We are getting the German guy back. Did you see? Stay tuned. Did you see public? Public. Your public wants you back. What's up? Uh, take a seat and go there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So he's drying the motherboard right now, so he can pack it away. Can you imagine that? Uh, you don't want to leave water on it because it collects dirt and from stuff from the air and will cause uh, short circuits. Huh? Uh, Facebook. Facebook. Uh, I think you just got. Yeah. I got found. If somebody posted my name in there. I don't know how they figured my name. Out. Unbelievable. I'm being trolled. Actually, that picture was for a, a contest. I could win a processor and motherboard that I already have. But hey, I got to get my picture taken. Yes, that is a normal hair dryer. It helps if it has high heat and two fan settings there. Didn't you say who? Sorry? The hair dryer. If it has high heat and two fan settings, is that better than just the you know turn on, turn off style? Oh, for the hair dryer. Oh, uh, not for your hair. Uh, I have no opinion on that. I, okay. I suppose more fan settings is better, but I'm not sure. Yo, okay. yo, I'm the German guy. <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> Easy. Screenshot, then Google say, uh, Google search face. Face? What? Yeah, you can Google Oh, yeah, that's right. You can do that image search thing. Oh. What was one of your greatest overclocking achievements? Um, actually, it was when the motherboard caught on fire. I got a little bit of condensation under one of the VRMs, and it actually sparked and blew up the motherboard. It was very fun. Although I did do some uh, pretty good runs with the 7970 Lightning under liquid nitrogen. Actually, uh, why is German engineering so superior to the German fellow? German is engineering. Is it? <laughs> it's German engineering. I think it's just a marketing term, isn't it? No, actually it's not. It's not? It really is, huh? Germany is following more standards, more industrial standards than any other country, so that's probably the reason. Yeah. Are these your long-lost children, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> Are we? <laughs> Are you my father, Dennis? Very important question. Um, Can you own them? No, I am not. Jean-Michel Tisserand. No, that's not me. He's no, not here. Uh, he's, 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 he's in France. He is not here in Taiwan. That is not me. Reverse image search. Damn it! That actually worked. Do stupid things like. <laughs> What's the coldest temperature anyone got their PC down to while still working? Minus two hundred and sixty degrees, I think. Is that bragging? <laughs> the liquid helium. Yeah. Although the, uh, some of these space probes in uh, you know, space are pretty cold as well. Who's that girl? Who's the girl? Who's the grill? <laughs> the grill? The grill? The girl with the typo? Oh. The grill? Overclocking bros? <laughs> what? What's so funny? The last question. Uh, can you can you ban X X X? Oh yes, there we go. There we go. What's the highest temperature someone got a computer to while still working? That's it. Hey, what's up? 
Yeah, sure. Just give them, give them all out. Maybe five nuts. Maybe ten nuts. Keep ten. <laughs> A grill? Kiss her. <laughs> And two, basically, what's your favorite type of cooling? So, they could not <laughs> made her. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> Hurry and get her number before she disappears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right back. Yeah. Actually, that girl is French, so she knows exactly how to do that. Yeah, she is French. Very French. Well, the internet is giving her a 10 out of 10. That is not bad. That is great. Mm -hmm. She'll be very pleased with that. She had to say, she's my girlfriend, by the way. <laughs> Who is that? No, she's not my girlfriend. No, no, no. no. Yeah. How do you make friends? Please help. <laughs> you should maybe type that into Google. It should be funny. Please <laughs> <laughs> <Knees> to sharp. <laughs> I see. Probably the elbow is too pointy as well. Why is it always that Albert takes pictures of me and I'm like in a photobomb pose? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she's, she's not my girlfriend. Uh, Tim would be very mad. How hot can a CPU get before you should worry? Well, if it's over 100 degrees, you should start worrying. Oh, actually, no, you should worry when you take it out of the box because any power you apply to it is overclocked, over temperature, and it will degrade the CPU forever. Uh, it's gonna be uploaded soon. <laughs> uh, yeah, our safety rating is not that high with liquid nitrogen and flip flops. Hey, can, I agree can you give that. me the cooling master marks? Yeah, that one. Thanks. Uh oh. He's got the mouse. Yeah, it's in the photo drag. Uh -huh. These are pretty swell. That's very 50s. Uh, <laughs> Quick dude, Roman is hitting on your girlfriend. <laughs> You're very popular on the internet. <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the degrees we're talking about is uh, Celsius. Shamino is already back in overclocking. He's working uh, with Asus on the new X99 systems. That was quick. Alright, so suppose I'm supposed to in the middle. We do not, we do not take direction from Twitch. Well, no, you never take direction from Twitch. Put her in the middle. <laughs> uh. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Yeah. So when are you going to shut this thing down? Oh, you mean at uh, 7 p.m.? No. So, in about a little two, less than two hours. Two hours. Yeah. Yes, we do play overclocking on Twitch. 
<laughs> Did you tell us uh, some background about yourself? <laughs> Somebody already found me on Facebook. You can get everything. And, and how you got into the industry? The porn industry. Rule number one: don't listen to Twitch chat. Always. <laughs> so don't use the bad words on Twitch. We're not allowed to do that. Are you guys planning on streaming more? Yeah, sure. We're gonna stream more. Subscribe, and you will get notified when we stream again. Yeah. All yeah. one is German and American guy. Yeah. Yeah. Let me try with my people there. Thousand people. Fala aí pessoal. Espero que vocês tenham gostado aí da 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 live que a gente está fazendo aí. É, queria agradecer o Tec Mundo aí. Eu não sei quem que tá do Tec Mundo olhando, mas agora já é de manhã aí. Espero que vocês tenham curtido bastante. A gente vai ver se a gente consegue bastante. Trazer bastante coisa. Cheio de gente muito fera aí. Man, you are seriously muito legal. Valeu para todos aí por ter assistido e por ter indicado a gente. There is no sub button anywhere. Nice. Yeah, to be on Twitch. besteira que eles não entendem nada, então tá beleza. You you want? Yes. Here, that guy is from Brazil, so that's why he was speaking Portuguese. That might be a dick, actually. Ben Berthi, though. So, the mobile app doesn't update the same speed as that does. No. We have this in slow mode or something. When is your next stream going to be? <laughs> Probably... Am I no, we can maybe do one next next week for the Team Cup, the Team Cup launch. It's already a launch though. No, we can make a relaunch live. <laughs> did you guys did a special education from Overcook? Yes, reading a lot online. <laughs> Well, yeah, not sleeping much. And there's a special school in there. Hard knocks. Can you guys all hug each other? Group hug? <laughs> Germany will win. Win what? Yeah, yeah, the World Cup. Yeah, the World Cup. Not giving a shit about that. Freelance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You say that a lot. Huh? Thanks. Lounge. Lounge. Yeah, like a chair. <laughs> I say it incorrectly. A little bit. It's more funny than anything. It's not like totally incorrect. It's just hilarious, man. Yeah, it is. It's kind of funny. This question again, where are you guys from? USA, Belgium, but even Taiwan, Germany, French, but even Canada. That's it. That's pretty simple. 4790K Devil's Canyon, have you got some? Yes, of course! What are your second favorite hobbies? Building computers? <laughs> I uh, ride motorcycles. What's your hobbies? hobbies? Do you, do you, uh, what do you do besides getting up and overclocking? Weightlifting. Oh, you do the weightlifting thing. He also builds um, some really, really nice uh, CPU containers. GPU containers. Germany and, and Taiwan number one in Twitch. Sorry, Dennis, you're quiet. Why am I just Germany number one? Since when do you spell Taiwan with an H? Uh, since forever. What do I ride? I have a 92 Kawasaki ZX7 Ninja and a 2004 Invia Gusta SPR. Is the 4790K good for overclocking? Well, on air maybe, but not for extreme. Doesn't have, there's no big difference between the 4790K. So when you guys go Motorcycles and overclocking. We have a badass over here. <laughs> <laughs> What is overclocking? <laughs> you ready for that, Dennis? Or? I I don't know. I'm having trouble following. 
And then you write me any day of the week. Write any day of the week. <laughs> what are the new PC hardware coming soon? Are you guys excited about or looking forward to getting? Haswell E and then Broadwell, I suppose. Because actually, David's Canyon was not of uh, the Intel, the Pentium, Intel Pentium Anniversary Edition is actually quite interesting for us. But otherwise, yeah, that's going to be as well. Yes. Right? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So in case uh, people didn't catch, I run a hardware review site in the U.S. called HardwareAsylum.com. You can hear my voice on my podcast, which you can also subscribe to. Start cleaning up this stuff. Yeah. So I think we can we can call that the the live is over for today. We we'll just have. You want to keep on talking, Dennis, or no? Let's pack. So this year. And here we go. Oh, not this one. This one. Well, thank you guys all for watching this HW but OC anniversary. There will be a um, few more broadcasts in the in the next few weeks. Although we will have uh, the after movie that's going to be online on the on the. Overclocking TV YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash overclocking TV and you can also see the scores quite soon on hwbot.org that will be posted on the front page and also there is uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Twitch channel uh, right below here I guess that's below here don't forget to subscribe so you get informed next time we go live uh, thank you guys for watching and we hope that uh, this was quite interesting for you guys Thank you, Denise. See you. See you next time for another overclocking event. Yes. Keep pushing it. So where do I put this? How do I turn this off? Oh, how do I turn this off? No, it's finished. Let's it's pack over. this stuff. Yeah, it's over. Let's go home. No world record, no go home. <laughs> German guy was a slut. I read that. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> keep pushing, keep pushing. Well, how do I turn that off? That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh.